We'll say uh, Lee Alone's voice is live right now, but hello, dreamers. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, folks. We're just all gathering in here. It's we're all very excited to see from you and hear from you. We'll relift the curtains in just a moment. Good evening, dreamers, and after little Lele, hello and welcome. Coming to you live from Harper's Joy, we have the summer event of the summer. It's time for Summer's Heart, and we have here a journey of three friends, all at the nexus of change in their life. About to go on one last grand adventure today. And they arrive now at the uh, Civic Center for Entertainment. Um, one of the only uh, true hangouts in their small town. A nostalgic place for them over the years. And they have resolved to travel uh, to a mountain that has just been deemed traversable by UXO and CD, the Unexploded Ordnance and Contaminants Department. There's the world which has spent a hundred years healing from war. And now, as the Trinity moves forward to the future to win the peace, three young lives take their own course and set out upon the solar winds. But first, They'll ascend Hailhead Mountain and look into the stories they've wondered at all these years. Finally able to go. Now then, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that you are able to join us, Rat, on Prozac. I understand mm -hmm. what it's like to be pretty drained from a day, and I'm glad you could get to the stream as well. Uh... As we as we gather here, as we gather at this uh, this site, I believe uh, an individual might have been at the nearby grav ball uh, arena, and uh, you know after after shooting some some shots, I think Chun or Focus Ambition Fear may be the first to the spot. Chun, 
Tell us, as as one would gaze upon Chun, Matt, O player O Chun, tell us. Yes. What what would they what would they see? What would they what would they feel? What would they hear? Well, first off, um, they would note that uh, Chun is a Mirai. And in this case, you'd you'd see that like it might take you a second to recognize this because He's moving so fast. He's so swift. When he's running around in the grab ball arena, especially here in this arena, this is a smaller town. As far as like the tech goes, it's like you you, you get the moments when you can to go live. But then sometimes there's just not enough power. But he's still in there. He's still getting those reps. Sometimes it's just uh, it's like the ball being extra heavy just gives him a little extra boost when he when he gets to play uh for realsies it's like it's like that weighted vest effect you know and it's like oh that was just the warm-up take weighted vest off and then you go crazy but he's absolutely as he finally as your eyes finally focus you notice that he is of course uh, a mirai an anthropomorphized yeah uh mantis and he is wearing a red tank top, a red beanie, and two bracers. These have been his defense forever. Though they may not be standard issue grab ball, they aren't. They might not be able to uh, soften the blow as well as the regular pads do. These have been what he's grown up with. These have been what he's used since he was little when they barely fit on his little... Uh, praying mantis arms and now that he's finally grown into them he continues to wear them as a tribute as a tribute to when he had first learned grab ball when he i mean spotting an old veteran of the sport asked hey what's that and it's... that gentleman oh go ahead it's grab ball oh can can I play that? Claps hand on your shoulder, beams in with a smile as if though you have just lit a thousand suns, says, anyone can play grab ball, just takes the will. They plop the right in your hand. Go get him. Oh, I will. And uh, from that day forward, he's been hooked. And of course you see it every day. Every night after classes, he's there. He's there training. He wants to be the greatest. And based on what you see here, what's stopping him? What could stop Chun from being the greatest? Indeed. Um, Chun feels unstoppable, although sadly, he knows that... Uh, he must go to larger arenas and grander games if he is to ascend to the heights he knows he's meant for. That he can achieve through his hard work and education. Uh, as he arrives at the center, um, there are some people um, loitering there, younger, older, not really in your age coat, hurt or friend group, but around. And yeah, you see the, the comfort, the hollow tables, the couches, the chairs, the tables. Um, uh, the desks all, all there, and yeah, you, you, you arrive, and you see that you uh, arrived ahead of your friend. You look out and see the grass grown, the, 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 the soul thren style via in the town, the old rusted human detritus grown over so long it has become part of the landscape, the ancient power lines long since replaced by underground cable. And you think this is home, and soon you will depart it. But another familiar sight closes on the horizon from across the street. A person who everyone in town knows, and whether they like it or not, has definitely heard from. Cecily Starsong. What, what, what see you and hear the people at the coming of Cecily Starsong? Uh, Cecily is... Uh, has her nose in her slate, 
mm -hmm. uh, like her, her slate phone and she's um, not paying attention to really where she's going. Uh, and doesn't, and looks up kind of when she hits this corner, does a double take when she sees Chun. Uh, is this where we were supposed to meet Lee? Like, yes, yes. So, so spot. Yes, your designated like meetup ahead is in fact the entertainment center, both because it's nostalgic and also because like it's a it's a good place to begin. Okay, cool. Um, then she like stops short and is like, "Oh my god, Chun! I like totally didn't think you would be on time, but I'm super proud of you that you are." Cecily, um. And it's like, of course, he's he's adjusted his uh, his uh, voice modulator after having grown up for years. But uh, <laughs> feels like there's there's a little bit of bashfulness in him because he doesn't want to admit that he's he's not on time because he showed up on time. He just hasn't left yet. <laughs> so did you get like all the supplies on that list that I gave you? Um, I okay, have that's, a That's have totally a what I expected. Yeah, all right. So don't worry, I got extras in case you didn't get the stuff on the list, but did you at least get the space bears? Please tell me you got the space bears. Oh, uh, shoot. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to play again. Oh my god. This trip is not going to be the same if we don't have like copious amounts of space bears to numb at any given yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe we can find some space bears out in the wild. I, I could imagine finding little space bears, all, all different flavors out there. Um, I really admire your imagination, Chen, but I would probably not recommend eating any space bears that we might find in the wild, as you say. But with any luck, uh, sorry, Pat, what is your character's name? Um, Yavanna Bell. That's right, okay. Well, maybe Yavanna remembered to bring the space bears. Yeah, I'm sure. And uh, speak of the devil, by the way, Lee, uh, mm -hmm. I am finished with my character. Speak of the devil and Lee shall make her appear. <laughs> um yeah uh at, and as we do so big shout out uh Chibati for the sub this oh, for victory so for the follow um Astrasur for the follow thank you all for joining us as three three yeah, names join us as the third name joins us across the street we spot Yavana Bell Yavana hit us with it yeah, so um, you all would know uh, uh, Yavanna to be, um, she's gone through a number of phases in her life. Uh, she used to be very quiet. Then uh, after uh, her horns started growing in, uh, she, you know, had a little bit of a rebellious streak. Her parents are in politics, actually. Um, Cecily might uh, have studied under them, uh, but uh, she always hated that they were in politics. and. Uh, you know, just kind of wants to get away from the family. It can be a bit overbearing for dads. So uh, she, she shows up uh, and she raises her hands and in it you see like a six pack of uh, Pontus Red and uh, in her other hand, three bags of uh, space bears. And uh, she kind of says, Hey, everybody, I'm Yes, you got them. Cecily yeah. jumps up and down and claps and says, and oh my things. gosh, Yavanna, I totally knew you would come through with the space bears. What did I tell you, Chen? I was literally just telling Chen this exact thing, literally. I knew you would yeah. both forget. So I brought the space bears to the booze and got a little bit of weed too. <laughs> oh, nice. Amazing. And yeah, we did both forget. Uh, uh, no, just to be clear really quick, I just want to clarify that I didn't actually forget. I just delegated. Um, I it's turned a new to skill that I've been delegated. practicing. And, you know, it's. I think it'll be really useful. In, in fact, your dads actually were just telling me the other day about how important that is. So I decided to take this opportunity to delegate to Chun. And now I've learned 
the valuable lesson that Chun maybe needs to be delegated to differently. My dad's yeah. always say, uh, if you want something done, do it yourself. If you want something done at somebody else's pace, delegate. That's actually like a really good point. I'm totally gonna make note of that. She pulls out her slate and starts do, 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 do. typing hmm. a little note. Make a quick note, indeed. Um, you delegate a lot, don't worry. You, you have your conversation across the street and like slowly and amblingly, you do see a, a, a truck pull up to the intersection nearby. Um, it's uh, it's the usual, it's an overland shipment that just uh, comes from the outlying settlements and for the outlying settlements. In the distance you hear the whoosh, 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 whoosh of the four times a day repulsor train, a glistening series of segmented silver bullets. Uh, all of the old rail and train track is rusted over by this point, but you can get around the city in, uh, you can get around the planet in a loop uh, within the day. So you've got a lot, uh, you know, you're, you're far away, but you, you have access to everything. By the way, uh, thank you, roll a d5 for the follow, and cup of spirit for watering the Lee. You can both water and stretch the Lee, um, in case you were unaware, dr uh, dreamers. Um, yeah, you see the, the truck puttering along. Uh, it, uh, it, you know, it waits for you to cross and then makes its way. Um, you see crates, uh, marked with uh, the symbols of uh, Impli Watts and uh, Pop Beverage and crates of Pontiff's Red. And uh, yeah, you see the, uh, the, the usual inside the center. You've gathered here together. Um, and am I cutting someone off? I don't think I'm cutting someone off. You, you've all, you all agreed to gather here. And um, a decision which you could have made beforehand or waited until now to make is it will be about a day to hike out. Um, and then you'd be there, you know, in the later hours. You would, you, you'd get a chance to really go over the hill. And you'd probably, you'd hike back the next day. Alternatively, alternatively, uh, the center does uh, allow recreational vehicle rentals to people of age, which you have all recently become. So, um, you could obtain just like a car. Alternatively, you could obtain three ATVs. Um, the, <laughs> the 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 choice is yours. Um, but I I imagine your characters probably would have had strong feelings about that beforehand, or you could have decided to. Oh, we'll decide there at, at all play at every player's discretion. How expensive is it to rent these recreational vehicles? So, a day's use of the ATV is. I will I will define the luxury coupon and never use it again. Uh, just for everyone. So like basically, right in the Trinity, most things are like handled through a variety of things. So like when you need food, when you need clothing, when you need like most forms of transportation, like public transportation. It, it, which is, there's not a bus route that stops there because it's a middle of nowhere mountain, you know what I mean? Um, but mostly you can get around with public transportation. It is free stroke in some, like, fiat currency that you're always guaranteed to have enough of in, like, a closed coupon system. The thing you really get as, like, a pay incentive and can use as cash and, like, buy nice stuff with that's, like, a limited luxury are luxury coupons. You can think of each luxury coupon as about, like, a $10 bill, right? Or a tenner. And it is represented by... Like, the cash you have is listed in Thren Federation coupons or Raidus, literally anything. Uh, any of the currencies that aren't a luck are one of that ten, right? Um, all that to say, it would be about 20 a day for an ATV, and it would be 80 a day for a car. And if you have a vehicle, this... Unless you wanted to stay there two days, like you could start, you would be. It would turn getting there will take most of a day to getting there will take a few hours. But you know, you'll have you'll have plenty of daylight after you've arrived. And just because you arrive at the site via vehicle doesn't mean you don't hike around once you get there. At your discretion. Okay, so, so, if you yeah. recall, 
I mentioned that uh, I want to try whatever it is. I want to try. Okay, so I kind of forgot about that part, and I spent mine and Chun's share on like supplies that I thought were going to be relevant for the trip. So I don't know how much you have saved up after the space bears and the drinks, but oh, don't worry about the drinks. Don't tell my dads. Oh, got it. Okay. Well, sure. I could like try talking to the rental person and maybe they'll give us like, you know, like a first time buyer's discount or something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I yeah. could totally do like 40 for, uh, or sorry, four bucks for um, for a day. Cause like, you know, not trying to drop a whole. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, let's like, let's just go talk to them and mm. You know, we'll see what they say. It's it never hurts to talk to them. Totally. You know what I mean? Indeed. And oh. you are very good at talking. Yeah, you can see that yeah. she she's noticed you already and given you a wave. Marianne uh has for most of your like teenhood uh been the person who works the desk um at the center. And you know that like any of these like uh like purchases would go through her right now. Um, and yeah, she's, uh, she's happy to see you, and she gives, uh, a little wave. Um, other people are hanging out near the hollow tables. Nobody's really sat by the TV, but there's various screens in here, places to recline, and, uh, the glass door awaits you, ready to slide open the moment that you are ready to step forth. Okay, now, Chen, just remember to, like, keep the grab balling the ball throwing to a minimum in here. I don't want yeah. to repeat breaking the window because she was like pretty upset that one time and we really yeah. need her to not be upset this time. Mm -hmm. No problem. And I, I think I have something that uh, might sweeten the deal a little bit. Oh, Ooh. what's that? And Chun is going to take out a little, a little picture of himself uh, that he's written uh, Chun exclamation point chun exclamation point chun exclamation point quotation marks uh like marianne is saying this mm -hmm. and then he's signed chun and he says yeah this is gonna be worth a lot someday so okay. maybe this will be worth a yeah you know. let me like take a look at that and i'll you know i'll bring it out as like the final you know seal on the deal kind of yeah thing. you know what i mean mm -hmm. okay here we go. Uh, and Cecily flips her hair and walks into the store. All right. Uh, so one mm -hmm. hair flip later, uh, you enter the uh, center, and Marianne's like, oh, Cecily, John. Marianne, oh my god, it's been, it's been way too long. How Indeed. are you? Oh, it's great. It's great. And she kind of like eyes like the grab ball very warily, but she says, yeah, you all graduated just recently, didn't you? Uh, I hope you're enjoying your break. Uh, oh, yeah, it's been totally great. How's your son? Oh, you know, he's uh, getting into slightly less trouble now. Uh, I'm glad that you got him in the politics club. Oh, it was totally no big deal. And you know what? He is doing so great. I'm sure he'll be running the club in like a year tops. Oh, he's an, a little idealist already. She wags a finger at you. Uh, mm -hmm. And she's, she says, I'm, sh I'm sure he will, as long as he remembers to do his homework and fold his clothes. Totally. That is great advice. And if I see him, I will remind him to do exactly that. Oh, don't um, don't worry, Cecily. I, you, ha you have so much ahead of you, and I'm, I've heard that you're heading out, and uh, I just want to say I'm sure you're going to do great things. Oh, Mary Ann, that means so much coming from you, especially like I have seen you and how successful you are with like managing this whole operation. Mm. And I mean, I have just had such respect for you my entire life. So thank you so much. I have a question. Is Cecily like the kind of person who while talking to someone like reads their reaction or is Cecily more of yeah. like, okay, roll I, me I am, roll yeah, me. I do have insight. Mm. As a, as a skill. Yeah, hit, hit, hit me with that insight. Hit me with that insight. Okay. okay. Let's 
see. Inside. Okay. Uh, oh man, my dice are showing up really weird for some reason. But... Oh, 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 so I chose my, so I'm assuming that you have roll 20 in dark mode. Yes, is it weird in dark mode? So in dark mode, it'll put the little like band over it. You can still see it, right? Like you can see there's like a, a white circle. I can as it's see covered a up. band. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you put it in day mode and then pop it out, you will see the dice um, like with a little symbol on with no problem. And then you can set your main back to night mode, oh. which I just remembered to do because we had our first dice roll. Um, yes. But yeah, oh, and that's okay. and that's a success that okay. you scored there. Uh, okay. Cecily has uh, successfully intuited that, um, like she's definitely, a as you mentioned, like oh, you know, you're, you're successful, and as that mingles with mentions of like leaving home, it's it's a bit bittersweet for Marianne. And you do recall there is uh, like in the Hollowvid collage that plays on one of the screens, like various pictures of graduating classes and past generations, uh, sometimes. And, like, the group that Marianne is huddled up with, you have never seen any of them. Do you think that Cecily is the sort of person who would have, like... Like, so you, you, you pick up on that subtlety of, like, this is a bit of a bittersweet smile for Marianne at the moment. Um, would you have been the kind of person who would have looked into, like, town history and town people, or...? Uh, probably, well, yeah, so one of my talents is social connection. Oh, yeah. So I feel like I know... Like, Cecily knows, like, everyone. Yeah, yeah, no, you know people. Okay, so you know that all of Marianne's close friends in the robotics club uh, left. One of them still lives on planet, but they're, like, on the other side of the planet, and so, like, she has to go, like, you know, um, her, like, her assistants take care of uh, this place while she goes over to visit them, like, sometimes. All of the rest of them left system. And, you know, haven't She's, like, the friend returned. who, like, didn't... She's the I friend. Go anywhere. She's the friend who stayed in the in the hometown, and like she like because like the entertainment center is most popular with like the youths, as it were. Like every generation, she sees like the kids grow up and leave, and like she's happy for you. But there's also as she sees you know herself and you, and she's happy for your success. She is also aware of like the cycle continues. And I will probably never see this person again. And if I send them a message, I will probably get a response back if it's absolutely immediate, like a year okay. later. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Okay. So Cecily picking up on on those kinds of cues, um, she she kind of. L put, puts off the act a little bit and lowers her, lowers her, lowers her voice just to kind of get one on one here with Marianne. Because of the volatility. <laughs> she says, <clears throat> "So, just kind of as like a cute little, hooray, we've graduated thing." Mm -hmm. Chen and Ivana and I were gonna go on a trip. And um, she's like, "Oh, that's lovely." Yeah, it's kind of like our last big thing together and we were all looking forward to it and I was just like so dumb and I miscalculated our funds and I really hate to do this but like we only have what did Yvonne say four, four uh, I was I was hoping for like four lux but okay. um you know we could be talked up hypothetically yeah but okay. I have most of my story. We only have like four or five lux for the day, mm. and we were like super hoping to rent a car just because we don't have, mm. you know, we. Is there just any way you could like, work with me? Oh, I mean, I would course, happily dear, like, I mean, work it off later. Oh, oh no, it, that won't be necessary. I'm sure that we could work something out. And where are you? Where are you hoping to go? Maybe we can, uh, you know, work something out um, without you having to rent a car. Um. Hang on, I'm. Oh, Hailhead. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, actually, really quickly, is that like, would this be something that's like looked down on, or it's, it's not now looked down legal, on, but so it's kind of like it, it's okay. worth it's worth noting this. Um, you live amidst like the ruins of the past, this huge industrial like vastness, right? It's just it's normal. Like okay. everybody grew up like 
using rotting superstructures for, like, what was once a nanite factory to build pulse rifles to, like, play monkey bars. You know what I mean? Like, they, they like, people sweeped out the most dangerous stuff. It's not what you would call safe, but, you know, there's universal health care and, like, people watch out yeah, for the kids yeah, okay. who are but, too young. Yeah, and it's, it's not, like... It's not questionable. It's but not like here's a the thing, thing I wouldn't want to advertise. Here's the thing. I think all of you know this. There is a, like, story, like a campfire story told about Hailhead Mountain, which is that, more or less, in various retellings, like, a blue light shines there some nights, either, like, Friday the 13th, or when the spears align, or whatever, right? And, uh... <laughs> Something stalks amid the wolves on Hailhead Mountain. Now, it is highly unlikely that Marianne believes this based on what you know about her. Trauma, however, most of the planet that you guys have hung out in has been decommed by UXO and CD before Marianne was born or while Marianne was your age. Which is basically this means we're going to go make sure all the landmines and, like, you know, biological warheads are very much gone and not going to get anybody killed, right? Yeah. Which, technically yeah. speaking, because Hailhead Mountain has just been cleared by UXO and CD, and they were all like, they were up there many years. You could assume, you know, all is, is good, but like okay. some worrywart parents would definitely be like, oh, but what if they missed something? They just did it. Maybe they mm -hmm. were being too lax, or maybe they didn't get everything. You know what I mean? Like, the more yeah. concerned adults will You know, express... a natural reaction to going to a location that might have uh, previously yeah. had land ma mines and things yes, like that. Yes, <laughs> a completely, a completely rational thing, but you know. Yeah, okay. No, yeah, I mean, the whole town you're in used to be covered in UXO and like fallen. It's just, over time, yeah. it's been fixed. So it's kind of like, locals see it as like a, yeah, if it's been clear for 10 years, nobody's gonna say anything. If it got cleared last month, some people are going to encourage discretion. Okay. Uh, well, she's not going to hide it, then. She'll just tell her Hailhead Mountain and then immediately be like, I know it's kind of like, you know, a silly, like, little, you know, whatever you want to say, like, kids being kids kind of thing. But it just, you know, that was like a place of, you know, stories and legends, like, all of our lives. And we just felt like it was kind of a fun way to like send things off you know finally getting to see this place that we like kept each other up late with telling spooky stories and everything i literally chen told me a story one time when we were like 10 well i was like 10 and and i like couldn't sleep for like a week i was so freaked out about hailhead mountain so anyway that's where we're going um and preference as this whole unloads uh yavana and shun what are y'all doing are you, are, would you guys wait inside? Would you wait outside? Um, so, I, I think I would have been worried about um, making sure to corroborate whatever uh, Cecily says. So, I obviously can't tell what she's saying from here. Uh, so, maybe I would have gone in and uh, tried to keep to myself and we'll uh, about at the various tables and such Shun. and shun you join inside uh well where are the atvs so they are like they're <laughs> oh, like no. so there is more or less like a town motor pool that they will let stuff come out of technically speaking you're not allowed to go into that place but oh, you could okay. because like you know it's a small town you know the mechanics and operators but like, what you know is that if somebody gets cleared to use a vehicle here, the autopilot of the vehicle turns on and it like drives up here. Oh, okay. In that case, Chun is gonna be outside where those autopilot vehicles will will like right. show up and park. Oh, no. Right. So She's Chun, Chun's waiting for the arrival. Yvonne's hanging out, and Marianne looks at Cecily very, very like sympathetically. Your argument has very well suited to Marianne's disposition. Roll me a communicate with a modifier of three. Ooh. Which just means like put nice. three in the box. Don't include a plus mark though, or it will gorble itself. Okay. <clears throat> Strong. 
Draw, as it turns out, you only need one dice. <laughs> okay. Could have been a modifier negative six and you would have won. Um, so, he's like, oh, Cecily, I know how it is, and you and your friends deserve to have your... She stops herself on a word that sounds a little more like closure, and she says exposure to the outdoors and the world. It's bigger than just this town. And uh, she, like, types in something with a... Doo -doo -doo -doo, and with a little uh, shloop, and you uh, see on your slate this little push notification saying like uh, like special, um, more or less uh, special logistics order, and it is letting you defray the cost in luxury coupons, um, in living expense credits which normally can only be used for like housing or transportation but because she's counting it as more or less 50% transportation 50% luxury you're clean and you don't use them because you live with your parents so you, like yeah you like it, no, no skin off your back you have the same amount each month so functionally for no cost you're getting a 50% discount and she kind of winks at you and she says Go have fun, but watch out. Don't turn around and say uh, Guardian three times. And she kind of, like, giggles to herself. Spooky. <laughs> uh, anyway, I've got the credits. Indeed. Yavana, how is it? How are your fathers? How's Chun? And she looks and she sees Chun waiting and she's, like, re slightly rethinking summoning the car. But, you know, she's already hit the button. Done. You see down the street, like the garage, automatically, and you see um, the car. One of the refurbs, one of the old uh, refurbs, glide down the street. Actually, I'm making an executive decision. You got the purple one. Uh, roll Amazing. down the street. Yes. Um, and it like comes in and sidewinder doors slide up to show you this, just like absolutely <laughs> like. Very old, like, so old, you're not sure whether it's, like, leather or actual leather back from when that was a thing humans lined their cars with. But it's been lovingly restored by the local mechanics. And, um, it's got a big front console and, like, a very nice seat in the back because it's designed to be, like, an autopilotable car, as are basically all cars now. Um, and yeah, it's got, like, a nice heavy wheel with, uh, with good furniture. Leather and wood uh, interior. Uh, it's it's nice, John. It's nice. You got you got a whole wagon here. Oh, it you. And I assume, I assume that you guys have like a party group chat to which this vehicle has been rented, or would it be like very specifically, Yavana gets the vehicle. Oh God. Or Cecily gets the vehicle. It was hoping it would be Cecily. <laughs> Actually, Mariana, Mariana did. Yeah, I think I think Mariana. It was like sent to you, but your digital keychain could choose to authorize any driver. So would you? Well, would you like Cecily pop that knew to the... that that Yavana wanted to drive, Correct. so probably she would have like authorized anyone. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, alert in the group chat. Hey, you can drive a car. Beep, beep. Um, and Marianne is Heck like, yeah. oh, you, you have fun, and uh, don't forget to stock up in the vending machines if you need any snacks. And uh, yeah, I mean, she's just overall like um, happy for you. And uh, her companion comes over, whispers in her ear, and she's like, oh, oh, really? And uh, says, huh, well, I wasn't expecting visitors. And she goes and types in the console, and she says, "Well, I hope you have fun. You have to come back and tell me all about it, okay?" Okay. Definitely. We'll bring you a souvenir that is not an uh, old landmine. <laughs> okay. Uh, there should be none of those there anymore. As if they're rethinking your decision, which is too late. Um, I thought there was a side entrance for some reason. Sorry. It's all good. They just they, Cecily they just was following you faithfully. <laughs> <laughs> We both walk into the wall. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, Whoops. This way. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. Y'all roll up to the car. Um, it's Woof. it's it's big. It's impressive. You may have you probably ridden in these like once or twice. Most people get around via walking or public transit. Your town is entirely designed to be like nothing is more than like a 
at most 20 minute walk and it's more like 10 minutes like people walk uh people chill there's lots of outdoor patio restaurants there's lots of nice little like artisanal uh crafts that people do and you know it's just it's a, it's a it's a small town not that much going on the school in the center near the center and uh got a bit of a circular design you guys roll up to the car though which you might have had on like a trip or two uh ridden inside although i doubt you've ever driven one before and now uh it is is uh y'all's opportunity to bundle in great oh yeah <laughs> Yvonne, did Let's you see if read I can all pilot the... this piece Yeah, of did deep. you did you read all the instructions that I sent? Because when you told me you wanted to drive, like none of us have ever done that, so I just want to make sure right. that you're prepared no. for this. It's dangerous to go alone from Turg. Something cool. Is I totally am. I um absolutely aced the uh, um simulations, you know. And I am so confident that I can do this. Yes. I mm. even read the little manual you uh, linked to the message. Very thorough. Mm. Well, I mean, like most of them. All right. Now, here's the question. So, like, the, the back of this car halfway resembles a conversation pit. And, like, in the front, there's, like, the console, like, one driver's seat, one passenger seat. Who is riding shotgun? Who is riding in the conversation pit? <laughs> which is which seems safer? Um, technically speaking, shotgun because conversation pits not notoriously mm. well shaped for impact. I mean, like it's also it's like this is like safety rated for the Trinity, so there's like extra pads and stuff in the back to be sure. But you know, if, you, right. you, you'd guess yeah. you'd, you'd guess shotgun. You'd guess riding fast. Especially we'll take we'll we'll take shotgun and and make sure to buckle up and like triple check her all of her restraints and harnesses and things. <laughs> and then she'll shout to the back, Chun, I'm sure there are like some safety belts and things back there. Please make sure you put them on. Oh, no, no there's no safety belts back here. Uh, Chun, this Wait, actually are? reminds you oh, of the limousine <laughs> of uh, one of the, uh, the, the, the side antagonists of Hot Rod Veer, uh, who, uh, oh, you know, infamously uh, had to be battled by the Veers who uh, attached fuselages to their bodies. A, 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 a now infamous ancient hollow vid you have, of course, appreciated alongside Gravball, self titled film, and Gravball the remake, which you've by now certainly found the original of. Um, yes. Do you feel Those like one of the people in the old vids in the back of the limousine here? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can imagine, like, uh, the first thing Chun does is all of the safety belts, he just kind of slips them into the little nooks so that Cecily can't uh, can't yell at him for not buckling up. Are you serious? There aren't any safety nope. belts back there? Nope. She like kind of she <sighs> turns around as much as she can, but she's already strapped in. So she's like kind of straining, doesn't see any and like, oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. Yvonne, drive super safe, okay? I would like to make it out of this trip alive. Yeah. You have the oh, yeah. slate to act as digital keys for this vehicle. Uh, the central console blinks with the simulated personality thing. Okay. And the autopilot is on, but you, you, can, you dismiss that with a wave. You have the wheel in your hands and you Thank hear you, a bit of a sputter and a backfire. Um, Woo! not from That's your vehicle kick. though. Hmm. Your 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 vehicle is uh, smooth running, and oh. underneath the uh, like the console, you would notice um, there's something that seems to have been like left there by somebody else, and um, it's actually it's Cecily. You find it. Uh, you you like check the glove box right for like manuals on where to find seat. Yes. else right there's danger <laughs> yeah. going from turg you find uh what appears to be, there's like first you don't recognize the shape it's like this um fabric -y material this black fabric -y material um that is layered over and then you see a hilt and you're like that looks like a kitchen knife and then you realize that this is a sheath and you realize this is a machete oh my. someone left a machete in the glove box 
Um, as you realize that, the backfiring comes down the street, and you see an Ito, you see a sand hill with giant crane and like more or less dumpster uh, dump truck on its back drive down the street to the rumble. It pulls off to the side, and you yeah. see uh, an interesting collection of people popping out. Um, you see a Rast in a crisp suit. Uh, you see two humans accompanying them. And... Yeah. Uh, one, uh, what appears to be a small corpora, probably for a sim, uh, rolling around like a mailbox-headed uh, drone. Mm. And... Uh, one of them is a gentleman in a cowboy hat. And the other appears to be an individual. Um, individual equipped with, um, well, equipped with cyberware and sporting a few interesting tattoos. Um, the four of them get out, uh, you know, look both ways before they cross the street. A uh, novel idea. And, uh, and uh, you know, make their way, make their way towards the center. You, this is a rather eclectic group of individuals, and they're carrying, uh, backpacks. At least, uh, one of them still has their backpack on. Uh, the rass sized sack seems to have been left in the car. And just as you, like, power up your rig and you're ready to go, you see the four of them. Cowboy definitely takes a note and gives you a little brim tip. Is this an unusual vehicle to see? Yeah, so the, well? people so, local? so the they are not local. You don't need to look at them for more than umpteenth of a second to know they ain't local. You best they you'd guess they ain't even from Harper's Joy. Oh. Uh, they look like spacers. They look like off worlders. You've never seen the fashion um the person with the high ponytail is wearing. Um the uh, the human, uh, the other human. I mean, his clothes look like they could be from anywhere, but the way he's taken in the world, so observant, like he's taking it all in for the first time, almost seems surprised by the color green, which is no one on Harper's Joy. As you look out into the verdant horizon, uh, there ain't many rast here. Not to say no rast, but you definitely know uh, every rast who lives like in this region. Basically, uh, you don't recognize this individual. As for the robot. You've seen module, models like that. They normally house a simulated personality. It's important to note that AI and Chain Stars break down to one of two major categories. Full AI, or the Fae, who are people. Even if they are, like, arcane and different from you, like, every organization recognizes them as a full sentient with all rights appertaining. The simulated personality is a hyper-advanced chatbot. And while some people might be like, my chatbot is in love with me, or my chatbot, uh, you know, has emotions, you know, science would tend to disagree. Um, it, they are just very sophisticated algorithms, and eventually you will run them in a loop. And they don't really progress and change as a person would. Whereas the Fae do. So, a, a, like a robot body, or a corpora, or a corpus, theoretically, could house anything. Normally, this would have a, a sim in it, but it could theoretically have a Fae. Okay. All four of them look unusual. Uh, bots like this normally work... Um, jobs in construction or maintaining ag equipment. Uh, normally not rolling into town um, and normally not never rolling into the center, really. Um, the three of them, they got a lot of stuff on their belts. They got backpacks. Maybe they're trying to go camping or something? You give me a scrutiny if you want to look uh, even closer. But Ooh. they, in this vehicle, this Edo Fortuna Sandhill, they use them as like, like this, the same place you would find both like a dump truck like a like a, a trash a trash truck and the same place you would find like a construction crane or a like Tahoe. That's where you'd find these. Um there is one in your town's motor pool. Uh it is normally busy. Um and they have an old salvaged one out back of the motor pool, which is literally just used to cannibalize parts from. Uh, and, you know, people can, like, sit in the cab and honk the horn. There's a couch in the back. You know, some people like to hang out there at night and smoke weed, which is why it smells like weed. Um, <laughs> the parents not approve. Um, but the mechanic is a very lackadaisical gentleman who says, 
Oh, my sense of smell went years ago, but if they're smoking marijuana, you should tell them I have a few edibles. So, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, how old does do the humans both look? Uh, so, the humans... Cowboy hat looks maybe mid-40s, but there's something about him, something like the most fabulous of stars or individuals who've had the most, um, like, uh, like, the Thren are masters of biological implants, and, like, a lot of those can, like, alter the appearance in a way that looks almost timeless. This man has a somewhat timeless quality to him. I would give you a, either a medicine or a scrutiny to get a sense of his timeless quality, but if you had to guess, you'd say early 40s. The woman mm. looks like she's no more than five or ten years older than you. Okay. The Rast, um, I don't think that you know a lot of Rast to, to guess their age as well, but you'd say adult. Okay. <laughs> um, so two things, just real quick, Yavana, before you push on that uh, uh -huh. gas pedal or, you know. Um, first, concerning, I found a machete and she like oh. holds it up um, oh let me see okay do not that useful i but like it's not ours and why is there a machete left in right. this car well we can just like return it when we're done with it yeah um, okay this um is fate. The second thing Who knows? did everyone else all see those four weirdos walk like just drive up and walk into the shop yeah, I've never seen them before. And I like, I'm kind of used to seeing people who come from off world. They do not resemble any of the like, marsh or uh, moon folks that I've seen, nor anybody from the local station. So, uh, actually, Lee, did they come? Which, uh, they drove. Were they driving from? They, where we're headed or like a, like they're way, not like drove, they're, they're driving okay. from the direction of um alderport alderport is the regional spaceport it has okay. a town attached but it is minimal and it is mostly like a landing pad and it doesn't get used that often so you know it's okay. it's, it's 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 where you go if you need to get on a spaceship because you need to travel by spaceship it's more or less like the local airport you could think of it culturally Okay. Um, so they definitely came from a place that would indicate they've just arrived by spaceship and they've driven into town. So they didn't come, they, which is not the direction of, they almost came from the opposite direction of the mountain you're going to, Hailhead. So do you guys want to like see what's up with them or? Yeah, they seem pretty important. So, I mean, if you're getting into politics, you should know everyone you can. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of thinking it would be useful for me to make some more connections. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you the in. <gasps> okay. Plus, what if they have, like, really cool stories or something? Or they're, like, coming from, like, some crazy, like, you know, battle. Or, like, they were searching for some long-lost, like, relic. You know, like, they just kind of okay. have that air okay. about them. Mm, yeah. As long as I get to drive at some point. Okay, cool. Chun, leave the machete. I don't think that's going to help us talk to them. I'm going to oh. hold on to that later, though. Oh, yeah. We yeah. can leave it in the car, but, like, probably not just wave it around the store. No, no. Know? Yeah. Safe beach. <laughs> okay. Cecily will unstrap her, like, excessive number of belts. She she did, she did like, more than the minimal, you know? She it's got like, the extra belts, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trinity standards, they've got, they've got, like, three... Um, yeah. You come in it's like a jet so pilot, like. Yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and you debark. Um, and I'm assuming that you're not trying to like avoid their attention. Um, I don't think so. They didn't give me like danger vibes, did they? No. Um, you could roll me an insight, and uh, yeah, you, you didn't get Ooh. the scrutiny to tell a close friend the age, but the only thing you got from any of them uh, was cowboy or like the one with the with the cowboy hat. Tip their clocked us, yeah. Yeah, tip the cap at you. Okay. Woo, three. So you've succeeded and you have two twists. Here's what this is gonna be. I'm gonna give you a general like insight read on the group. Which is 
they feel like they're also on a car trip. They feel like they're also, mm -hmm. like, you know, with some people who mean a lot to them, and so too does their trip. And you get the feeling it kind of has a different edge to it than yours does. Maybe in the way that, uh, you know, they're older, and that just sort of, you know, changes stuff. Maybe it's because, you know, they're not all going to not see each other anymore often after. Or, you know, maybe it's just something about it. They they kind of walk with conviction and purpose. They remind you of uh, your companion here's dads, Yavena's dads, uh, in that they kind of, like, have an air to them of somebody who's got strong beliefs in their, uh, put them in practice. I will give you, you got two twists here, right? Here is what I will say. The twists you can be used to gain extra information or like do something more covertly or do something faster, right? Each of the twists you have two to spend. I will let you spend one per person to get a little bit extra about that individual of this little cadre of four. So which of these two do you want to get the most read on? Um, Cowboy? Mm-hmm. And... Oh man, I'm very curious about the the tattoo woman, but the rast in a suit feels like feels like a no-brainer. I think I'm gonna go with the rast. Like that that feels like what the, what is happening here? Yeah, so uh so, Calvor, yeah. um very observant. Um his hand covers how much how much like Crashy hollow vids and like action movies. Do you think Cecily watches? Uh, that, like, that are in the action genre. Mm, probably not a ton. Probably only when Chun yeah. like well, drags yeah. her along and yeah. makes her watch. <laughs> you will say there is something about a stance that reminds you of the stuff that like Chun would put on at movie night in the rotation. And you just kind of right. like go make popcorn through it. Um, <laughs> and yeah. But you just notice his hand's always hovering around more or less like his right pocket, kind of, for some reason. He's very observant. He looks like he's taking everything in. You don't think okay. he looks at people the same way you do. You're kind of trying to read the emotion or, like, trying to get to know them better. You think he's trying to canvas people, check them out, take in the world, take in everything. It's like sizing like, them up. Like he's ready to respond at a moment's note. Yeah, okay, okay. And the Rast looks like... Cool, collected. You can already see. You can't hear, but you can see he's popped into the counter, and uh, he's talking. And uh, he's not on the counter, but he's like up up against it. Marianne's like talking. She <laughs>, laughs at something that he says. Uh, he's clearly clearly charismatic. Um, got a nice tailored suit uh, for his little otter-like body, and uh, you note that it looks like he's got a sense of what you would call like high fashion like the fashion most in on the most connected of the artemisian sprawl that sort of has a semi like in the, like in the very populated worlds like fashion moves fast but like for politicians and diplomats it's kind of a vibe and like you know that vibe it almost looks like he has the low rent version of that vibe not because he's wearing like a cheaper outfit because he's not exactly trying to knock them off. He's got his own thing going on. Okay. But it's a slick, uh, it's a slick kind of suit that you know there are people who make hollow vids just to pump out across face like messages in a bottle, right? In like the the way that the mesh works, the kind of like kind of fellow who'd like you know sit down and make a video about you know an, a political ideal. That kind of like dress is what he has about him. But it's also just, like, something that, like, a nice diplomat would have. Okay, so the cowboy hat guy looked like he was ready to, like, fight anyone who, like, tried to go at them. Did you guys catch that? He was, like, sizing me up like I was gonna run at them suddenly or something. And then uh, the rest was, like, yeah. yeah. The rest was, like, that is a look. You know what I mean? Yeah. Totally agree. It's kind okay, of high well, fashion. I guess, yeah. It's kind of like, oh, Yvonne, it was like, it's like that magazine I was just showing you last week, you remember? Oh, yeah. Um, what was it called? 
Dang it, Pat. I was counting on you for a name. <laughs> you was know the grav? one. Was it uh, Grav Illustrated? No, I think it was um, uh, Mother Stardust. No, it was um, Her Stardust. Yes, mm. that's mm. the one. Her Stardust. So, yeah. I wonder About, if... like, all the up-and-coming types in the galaxy. Yeah, I wonder if he, like, got that. I... Do you think he reads her Stardust? Oh my gosh, that would be crazy. <laughs> that would be kind of ridiculous. But, like, I do see it, though. Kind of. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go in before they finish doing whatever it is they're doing. Mm. It's sad. Fine. And, um... Arch has definitely noticed you, but he's not, like, making a thing of it. Um, this bot is kind of like rolling around, uh, the lady's hanging out at the counter, but she does turn as the door opens, notices you. If you guys want to like check out their attire or anything they have on them anymore, you can roll scrutiny. Um, X has like a sash. I, I whisper to Cecily, I'm gonna pretend that I, uh, forgot to get something from the vending machine to explain why we're back. Good idea. I'll go with you. All right, I will. I will place an additional inside vending for this. <laughs> Great. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Um, they 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 notice you guys. Do you guys do make a great effort of selling that ploy? I think Cecily does because she wants to shamelessly eavesdrop. Right, give but... me give me a communicate for cover that eavesdrop. Um, and Chun. Who are you focused on? What are you focused on doing? You stood here, you know, your buddies are going to the vending machine. You see some cool people. Oh, yeah. Chun is going to try, like, he saw how cool Cowboy was mm -hmm. with the tip of the hat. So <laughs> Chun is going to move forward and do a tip of the beanie to him. <laughs> he, um, uh, yeah, Chun, uh, uh, the person responds uh, with howdy. Uh, howdy. Um, Do I? Are you a movie star? No, just uh, passing through. He looks at you for half a second and says, Arch, and looks at you expectantly. You think his name is Arch, and he's asking what your name is. Chun. He nods sagely and says, can't go wrong with the four-letter name. Yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. You act like a movie star. He chuckles and says, you're too kind. And, uh, Yavana, you, you, um, okay, so Cecily, you totally sell this, right? Yazoo. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. we totally forgot the space bears. Yavana, I told you the space bears are crucial. Just okay, but yeah. like, I really <laughs> just like the Implowat yeah. fried chips. Yeah, uh, the Rast turns over and says, Space bears, they are delectable. I love the rootberry cran vodka flavor and the cream soda variant. Hmm. Uh, and the woman behind him rolls her eyes. Uh, and he says, well, can I, I can't help it. I got a sweet tooth. He, 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 uh, he turns around. If anybody's, like, scoping them for, like, their kit or anything about them, give me a scrutiny. But, and I would say, Chun, you'd have, like, a modifier of two to check out what Arches, like, digs. Just because, oh. like, you know, you're, like, engaged tightly in conversation with them. you got plenty of excuse to look up and down. It's your favorite flavor, isn't it, Cecily? Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yes, I totally love cream soda. Yeah. And, you, and Marianne's awesome. like, oh, Yazoo here was just saying that um, they're uh, here for some sort of nature tour. And Yazoo's like, absolutely. Harper's Joy is a great example of a uh, post-Terran uh, biosphere. And, of course, there's uh, all those great stories about the war. What was it? Uh, Star Shield? And Marianne's like, oh, yes, the war. You'd all know in history class you were taught that during the war, um, brave rebels, uh, including Chalcedonian Remnant and Willis Legion, shot down um, a uh, series of defense stations called Star Shields, and with that, uh, the planet was liberated, more or less. Um, and uh, yeah, so they're referencing history that you would have learned as like a boring fun fact in class. Um, they're a all... boring fun fact. Yeah. John, <laughs> you know, Arch has two, like, things on a belt, right? That is kind of, like, beneath his duster. One looks like a box the size of, like, maybe some sort of tool um, or some sort of, like, square rectangular tool. 
And the other definitely looks like it could be a holster. And you note, his hand always hovers around his right hip. And it <clears> moves <throat> when he walks in lockstep with it. Which you know is a technique to ensure that you will have minimal delay on draw. Whoa. Mm. Chun's a little starstruck, so he's gonna say, uh, and try, he's gonna try to make it as cool as possible, but it's like the fanboy just kind of ekes out where he's like, uh, have you ever used that? And, uh, he kind of looks around, looks at what you're indicating, and says, oh, yeah, for self defense. And Mar Marion looks a little concerned when uh, she hears that conversation. And uh, Marion looks at Yazoo and says, Oh, yes. Uh, my friend here, Arch, does uh, carry, uh, as you'll see in our travel credentials, whoop, flicks uh, across uh, the mesh at Marianne, who checks her terminal. Uh, you know, a standard uh, electroshock gun for self defense purposes, of course. Um, and she's like, Oh, you can defend yourselves? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, we wouldn't. Uh, we wouldn't uh, think there'd be any trouble here on this wonderful Trinity planet, but I'm given to saying there's some wolves out there. And Marianne's like, yes, you should be careful about the wolves. She looks at Yvonne and Cecily and Chun almost like chidingly, um, but she did forget to mention it. And Yazoo's like, ah, yes, well, I'm sure there'll be no great trouble, but, you know, peace of mind. It's worth a lot. More than, uh, Raidus or that sort of thing. I mean, the freedom of one's mind. What more does one have? And uh, Marianne nods sagely and says, like, You're very right, Yazoo. Hey, don't call me Yazoo B Blue for nothing. Call it because that's my name. Ain't that right, X? He turns to his compatriot. She's more or less rolling her eyes. She's not happy about the development that Chun has called out uh, Arch's uh, electro shotgun. It definitely seems like maybe she would have preferred that didn't get mentioned. Mm. He gives Chun an unfriendly look, looks at Yazoo, um, whistles. And the bot rolls around, makes a beeping noise, and drives out through the door to get back into the sand hill. Spicy. And, yeah. You guys are, um, you know, uh, Yuzu says, like, ah, well, I wish we could stay in chat as, and talk about our favorite flavor, cream soda. He, like, gives you, like, a finger snap and, like, finger gun, Cecily. And um, then uh, finger gun, finger snap to Cecily later. Uh, Yazoo and X about an arch she tips the t uh, cap and says, um, "Have a good one, Chun." Hey, you too. Remember my name. And he looks at your wrist and says, "Gonna be a grab ball star." The best. Nods and says, "I'll look forward to it." And uh, they they pop out. I don't know. Uh, so you see them all like walk out. X kind of like steals a glance um, through the reflection in the windows at you guys, but doesn't turn her head to face you. Um, so did they rent a vehicle or anything? I mean, it's like, oh no, they mostly wanted to talk about directions in the local area. Directions to where? Oh, um, they wanted to take a uh, Grand Line Nature Trail, you know, and you do know Grand Line Nature Trail. It's the most common reason people from out of town come here, uh, is to hike it. Uh, you know that it starts, um, not more than like a few miles from Halehead Mountain and then runs northwest away. Okay. I guess they just came to take in the scenery. Yeah, uh, I didn't quite understand everything that he was talking about, but it seemed to be science related, or um, maybe they were some sort of activists. And um, yeah, they said our planet was some sort of uh, type reclamation. Uh, Hope nods and she says, "Of course, didn't you learn about it in school?" Uh, uh, yeah, and, totally. And she sort of like tuts and says. Yes, the biosphere of this planet is informed by the fallout after the war, as well as being heated for long-term viability and Earth-like climate. 
That's why there's all this, and she gesticulates outside. Green. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, well, I knew that, but like... Did, did you get all of the um, chips, Ivana, that you wanted? Yes, I got the chips. Are we good to go? And the yes. space bears that you forgot, Cecily? Yes, and the space bears. I did not forget the space bears, Chen. We have been. I got this. them. I got them. Okay. Amazing. So y'all, y'all pack in. Um, I presume, if there's nothing else you like to say or do to the vehicle. Yeah. You're back, back in position. You're back in position. You got your your belts back on. Uh, Yavana, you're down in the seat. Now, Yavana, a regular drive doesn't require any particular test, but if you mm -hmm. wanted to go fast. I think Yavana wants to go fast. Hmm. Yeah, roll me, um, okay. So you guys feel yes. the inertia, the Gs, as you push a little into the seats by the takeoff. Um, Hell yeah. Sliding around for funsies. <laughs> yeah, you guys approach, um, you know, here's an important question. Do you want to spend that twist going faster or showing off? Definitely oh. showing off. There's lots of bobbing and weaving and uh, maneuvers that Cecily would not approve of. You guys take a, a slightly slower turn around a, a, a curve around a slow turn. You guys have been driving for a bit. Um, and you note uh, there's a sand hill up ahead. In fact, Ooh. as you see, it's, wait, what? What? In fact, as you see, its inhabitants, it's the same sand hill. You are here at this oh, river, um, and you see there is this like rotted out, rusted over uh, architecture. You see like birds nesting in it, chirping of creatures, scuttering vermin and insects, whole ecologies made amidst the muck and mire of this, uh, you know, clear cut, but already there's saplings growing around it. From the old days and yeah as you drive over this bridge and along the road you note that um they're stopped here and here's the other thing as you come down here and look over the corner you're probably looking forward because this is when you get your first full view of hail of hailhead mountain and the walk up and if you were hiking you guys mm -hmm. would walk straight under this thing and keep going north mm -hmm. And the, they're stopped on the side of the road? Yeah, they're stopped on the side of the road here. Would it, should it I, should like I slow down? Doing? Um, Maybe just so, like a little bit so I can see what they're yeah. doing. So you slow a bit, you get like a brief view of the cab. You can see um, there's some sort of holographic projection coming out of an eye on the scan bot but onto the console. All three of them are like looking down at it, talking uh, pensively. Arch's eyes flick up and notices you, and then X's do. They see you going by, uh, although you know you keep on. I presume you keep on, um, but you go for like yeah, a slow roll so. by. Um, Cecily yeah. tries to cover up their their rubbernecking with like a one of returning one of Yuzu's like finger guns, like that he gave to her. <laughs> Give me, give me a communication. They left yes. the shop. Excellent. I'm gonna wave the machete. <laughs> oh no! Unsheathed. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> is it is, is it an unsheathed machete at this time? Add your communicated my fighter in negative. Yes, unsheathed. <laughs> Got two. All right. Uh. <laughs> interesting. Uh. Yeah, something transpires behind his eyes, but he kind of like gives you a del delayed finger gun back. Um, you guys are, unless you want to linger by the overhang, the the winding mountain road is ahead of you. How wow. carefully are you going to take the careful of the winding mountain road, Yavana? Um, 
Caution to the wind, motherfuckers. Roll me and operate. <laughs> Cecily, I'm assuming you're like clutching the dash at this juncture? Yes, and probably actively like yelling at Yavanna. All right, All like... right. Cecily, <laughs> give me a resolve test. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no successes. Amazing. All right, you gain one edge from the reckless driving as it just kind of like gets you on edge. Chun, you're just enjoying the ride in the back. Um, that tracks. Yeah. Yeah. You skid up here and you find the edge of the area. This is it. You guys have ascended a twisting road up the mountain. Wow. You're here next to a crashing waterfall, and you see in the distance a derelict comms tower, high near the the, the last of the wooded elements before the the stony peaks, and you see dense growth, including reeds of colors. Not seen often elsewhere on this planet. Deeper, greener grass and UXO plus CD signs indicating uh, this place has recently been, you know, under under control and being cleared for UXO and contaminants. Um, there's an abandoned dumpster already starting to be grown over. Some rebar taking up space. Uh, this fence is old and so are some of the signs. Yeah, you debark with a tr tr and you see the crashing of the waterfall above, uh, the rolling of nature, and overall, uh, you know, you're struck by the natural beauty. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad to be out of that car. Cecily, like, dashes over to the river here yeah. and, and uh, pukes a little bit. <laughs> Are you going for a swim? No, I wasn't that bad. It was just all of the like twists. It was, ugh. it was a lot. Okay. It was just a twisty road, okay? You knew it was gonna go fast. She she like collects herself, splashes a little bit of water on her face. Okay, I feel better now that my feet are on solid ground. And we are walking from here. <sighs> Fine. Hey. Indeed. Gun, do you step out to uh, to meet the nature? Yes, with the machete in hand. Nice. <laughs> now, Chun, I assume that you of all would be most interested, but at around this time, how much cri local cryptid lore do you guys think you care about? Cecily, you have a lot of local connections, but how much would you have cared about the stories? say a pretty like average amount like i don't yeah. you've, you've not heard especially but also she's not like oh my gosh those are stupid like you, you have heard mm -hmm. you have not researched you've heard the yeah. story yeah um yeah. yavana or chun would either of you be inclined to dig deeper i think that yavana at the very least um has uh gotten like high with some people who wanted to talk about them all right, give, yes. give me a so. give me a systems with a mod, mod, negative two modifier, not because they didn't have the information, but because they were high at the time and they didn't do a good very job very good job explaining <laughs> it. Awesome, uh, John. If you just think you'd have it, you could roll a straight systems. If you would have been interested enough to like look it up. Oh, see, Chun wouldn't be looking it up. He would just hear it from Yavana and just spread it like uh, wildfire. Right. So, so Yavana, what you <laughs> what you know is that um there is one person and. Take it with a grain of salt, because this guy is a stoner who is a nerd for Chalcedonian lore. Um, Weird you've heard him talk about something called like, the Society of the Wheel or something. He says that um, this river is actually something known as the River Styx, which in human empire mythology had a drug in it which would cause you to, to erase all of your memory. And the reason it's been contained for so long is the contaminants crew was having to clean the bacteria out from the river. And that's why it creates these weird green pastes along the riverbanks. Furthermore, the guardian of the river sticks is Cerberus, the blue-eyed, three-headed beast of the crossroads who arrives uh, when one is faced with a uh, great danger, such as uh, wolves or falling and uh, presents you with a choice. And uh, depending on your answer to Cerberus, you might never get alive. 
Also, depending on the stories, uh, you know, uh, maybe Cerberus feeds you to his wolves. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah. that's why we walk around in a circle and say, uh, Sir, uh, Guardian, Guardian, Guardian. Um, so, yeah. So you know the, the, the local cryptid, the best description you have is three heads, blue eyes, named Cerberus, um, related to the river Styx. And, uh, yeah. That's the what river you... that Cecily has just splashed her face in. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's worth noting that, like, <laughs> all, like, this is considered clean drinking water by the government. You know what I mean? So, like, literally, this feeds into, like, 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 fields and, like, places people, like, you know, like, hop around in. Okay. Um, so, first order of business, I think, before we really, you know, let loose and have our little, you know, party up here, we need a campsite. I know you guys are oh. gonna just, like, Chun, I know you're really excited about that machete, but, yeah. like, let's just, you know, establish, like, home base, and then we can finally relax and just do our thing, and I promise I will stop bossing you guys after that. Cecily, I'm going to assume that you would have done some research. Yes. You Google, you you space mapsed your, uh, like, the, the campsite, right? And you found Probably. a really nice place that looked like it had, like, a small, like, not a lake, but, like, a pool that you could theoretically splash around in. So it was almost like you could swim, you could chill by the river, and there was some clearance where you could hang out. Cool. So okay. you think that it shouldn't be too much of a hike. You just need to, like, was ascend a Z level up to where the river proper is, um, you know, casually through the woods. So I was doing some looking beforehand, uh, just so we'd be prepared, you know, and I did actually find what I think is like a stellar little campsite for us. I think it's like not that far up the road. Um, Great. I'll race you. Well, yeah. don't, don't you guys think it's better if we like stick together? I agree with Cecily. Also, thank you so much for doing the homework. Well, I did kind of miss homework now that we're like graduated. So it was nice to have an excuse to like focus on something. I felt like I was like back to one of the group projects, you know, it was great. Oh, I oh. hated those. Yeah. <laughs> also, thank you for doing most of them. Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't know where you guys would be without me. A truly, a truly. Clearly not at, she looks at your map, that spot <laughs> in the middle of the forest. Um. Yeah, so Lee, is the path pretty clear or do we need Chun to lead and like kind of bushwhack for us? Yeah, so the thing is, um, this road is so obfuscated from space due to overgrowth and, like, trees, that it's not exactly clear. Um, you know that it winds up kind of near the campsite, but it's a bit winding, and if you, you think if you just walked, you'd get there a lot faster. But if you take the faster walk, right, like, not the path walk, but the faster walk, you'll need to do some bushwhacking. Um, and there'll need to be some survival where, like, even though you have the above head map, you're gonna need to reckon it, like, with scrutiny. And... You're going to want somebody to use either a mechanics or a melee with, say, a modifier of two if they were using the machete to uh, hack away at the growth ahead. Okay. Uh, I think Cecily feels pretty confident, like, that they'll get there kind of either way. So she's actually going to leave this up to the group. She'll, she'll basically outline those two options. So what do you guys think? I think I want to see that in action. I, yeah. I just start Chun hacking. Like... Yeah, absolutely. Okay, but Chun, the map, Chun, Cecily, like, trots after, <laughs> after him as he's whacking away. I will give you your choice of scrutiny or systems to do the map part, while Chun, out ahead, leads you into the growths. And almost immediately, yes. as you get, like, up near these rocks, the acoustic nature of this place is such that you're starting to hear more and more nature sounds reverberating off of like these rotted metal drums 
and pillars and rock. And you hear like and other strange animal sounds. Not too used to from nature, but you know, they do sound like nature sound enough. Uh, most things are small and skittering. John, do you want to go like more like cinematically as you're hacking away the brush, or do you want to work more efficiently and actually get there faster? Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be cinematically because he's just like picturing that he's in those action movies, the ones where you're suddenly stranded in a forest and you've got you've got to survive. And so he's really just going into it. He's he's like every now and then he'll he'll uh, he'll mistakenly run into part of a branch and just be like, oh, it's OK. We're OK. And then keep going. Yeah. You guys uh, see Chun just like kind of flourishing. You're making decent time, but it seems like a little bit. Um, you follow <laughs> after. Cecily, you're like, okay, yeah, if this is top down and you take pictures and you like compare in your slate, uh, it's worth noting you are outside of mesh range unless you get good satellite coverage, um, which normally isn't a problem if you're out in the open. But if there's like dense foliage above you, it could be an issue. Um, and mesh range is like both the internet and like any sort of calling. So, you know, okay. body, but you, you can connect. Um, I think I homegirl's that... looking for, go Sorry. ahead, go ahead. I think I'm, I'm looking for like mist mines and things that could explode on us. <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. That's... Someone should be looking for that. Yeah, you might, you might look out for the UXO. That could, Fuck. oh. Yvonna, you see a circle that uh, Cecily is about to step on, and you become convinced it is a landmine. Describe to me exactly what you do. <laughs> Cecily, don't move. Stop. Pretty sure what? that's a mine. Right in front of where? you. Where, where, where? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Don't oh my gosh. No, 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 no. You're fine. Uh, okay, okay. Just I don't, step I don't back see it. Okay, step, I'm stepping back. Now give me okay. a give me a resolve to uh, everyone. Give me all three of you. Give me a resolve test. Oof. Cecily, the, the and Chun with the the iron oh wheels God. here. Yvonne, let's see yours. Oh shit! I forgot to roll mine. Oof. Okay, yeah, so uh, with these twists, um, so uh, all of you, like, stay calm, look, and then realize it's a metal disc that looks like a landmine, but it's actually blatantly, like, empty on the underside, and you begin to realize it's actually related to a collection tool that wound up discarded. Um, oh, shit. And so okay. Cecily, you can, Cecily and Sean, you could spend your twists either, uh, like, reacting better to the ancient like you know dangers better or just like you know the next time you're Kevin to keep your cool could I maybe uh, like okay you <laughs> tell me if you're cool with this Lee <laughs> mm -hmm. could I spend my twist um basically like Cecily did research on like like what how to deal with a Absolutely. landmine like if we did so like she at first kind of like was oh my gosh i'm gonna die and then like her brain went into like the recitation yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. first take a deep breath second like assess the situation <laughs> third like so she's like running through all of the instructions when Absolutely. she hit step five that's when all of us realized like oh okay we're good we're good so you fully assess the situation you've gone down the checklist like they put out like an infomercial type thing like hey kids here i am bomb me the deactivated <laughs> landmine from uh oh uxo God. and cd and i'm here to help you from blowing up so see me you know and you 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 like you know you remember the jingle and everything you've gone through their website um yeah i would say that cecily the next time you have to worry about like uh uxo you've done the research because you've so it's just part of who you are as a, an individual of great resolve is that you're going to look it up beforehand, you're going to know how the system works, and you're going to successfully implement that system. That's that's the ideal, baby. Yeah. And uh, with the foe landmine discarded, you guys have arrived. You realize right next to your campsite, 
and it has a little uh, metal thing that was visible from orbit that you latched on to to get directions here. A little UXO and CD tower that um, you would recognize as a, uh, a drain drill pipe, which was essentially used to assess local ground toxicity to see if there were any, you know, uh, contaminants, because the CD element is like uh, contaminants. Uh, it's worth noting, you guys do see something you're not used to on the banks of the river. Uh, sort of a green growth? Maybe a moss? Kind of a patch? But yeah, here's a river, and right now, it, it, you could wade through it, you get a bit wet, but there is a dramatically located fallen tree. Ooh, I see that, I see that. Cecily obviously planned this spot because there was a dramatically located fallen tree. <laughs> that she felt confident they could use to cross. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I think, okay. uh, yeah, my character is very, very appreciative of her mm. pointing it out. <laughs> Can I just say, guys, really quick that I'm very glad that there's not an active landmine in the campsite that I picked because that, like, really would have put a huge damper on things. Wow, you're totally right. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. But that uh. said, if I did explode, which I wouldn't have anyway, because I did remember all of the steps and we would have been fine. Yeah. But if things really went bad, there is literally no one else in the entire galaxy that I would rather be with in my final moments. I just felt like I wanted to tell you guys that. Sorry, I'm just oh feeling like kind of oh emotional after all this. It's just like... I'm sorry, Ivana. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to make you cry already. It's just, you know, that's just like what flashed through my head between steps two and three. Okay. And I just wanted to share. And I, I want to like lean in for the hug. Uh -huh. and it, yeah, Cecily <laughs> grabs Chun and like pulls him in. Uh -oh. the As we close for the, for the <laughs> group hug, perfectly. Same. We have the 10 minute break. See you at 1041. It, 10.30 happened, and I was like, I can't cut off Tori right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank you all for joining us, Dreamer. We got a 10-minute break. You'll still be able to see it, hear us, but like our players will, you know, freshen up. We've been aiming at oh, uh, hours now. Wonderful. We will see how our friend's adventure concludes after the 10-minute break. Uh, so stay with us. And honestly, it's been awesome. Um, we're, we're telling a story of friendship and hiking and having fun. And I, I'm sure there's heard nothing, nothing, nothing uh, surprising is going to happen. Yeah. Definitely not. <laughs> okay, I'll be back.
Ooh, crustaceans. We're discussing crustaceans. Oh gosh, wait. Ah, 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 <laughs> uh, Wombat and I are discussing uh, like what Scampy might be up to since the scenario you ran for us. And we're talking about rom-coms. All right, um, so I am back. We are all here, I think. No, just kidding. We got one minute though. We got one minute on the break. Yes. Break clock, I'll catch up with chat. Uh, not particularly unless they have a nice set of loot. Crustaceans, oh my gosh. There's something about Scampi. Oh, the throwback. <laughs> We did a It's Always Shining at this station that was basically like, it's all it's always sunny in Pennsylvania. Uh, it's uh, it's always sunny in F Philadelphia. Mmm. But change stars. Mm-hmm. It was pretty fun. I dig it. Oh, yeah. man. We had a lot going on. Um... Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. By the Welcome way, back. before we start, am I coming in really loud for everybody? Um, no. I can hear myself really loud in my ears. Oh. No, you're not coming in super loud for me. Uh, Pat, have you? Can you deafen? Oh wait, are you hearing other people on Zoom through your computer? Or are you hearing us? Yeah. Through your oh. I cannot yeah. think off the top of my head how to fix that, to be perfectly honest. Um, no, no, no. Look, as long as you aren't hearing my voice insanely loud, it's fine. Mm. Are you, though? No. Like... No. Your volume is great. Cool. Mm. That's fine. Good. I'm just aware that I'm going to have to fix my... Uh my situation before I go live next. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I was literally just sticking my fingers in these marshmallows. And then I realized I had fucking chopsticks in my bag. So oh. sorry. Oh. <laughs> I don't have to get my hands sticky. Mm. So happy. <laughs> yeah. I haven't had a marshmallow in so long. I haven't either. Um, but like, I need a snack, and that Ooh. is the plague house, so I don't want to be in it. Right now. Oh, fair, fair. Uh, the first time I had s'mores. Um, I wasn't camping or anything. I didn't have anyone to guide me. I just was like, all right, this is how you do it. Microwave. And I just put 
four marshmallows because I'm like, oh, that, that's <laughs> enough, right? And then she <laughs> suspended and took over. <laughs> no. Sorry, I am Amazing. late. Okay. I have had just a back-to-back -back day, so this was my one quick eating break. No, oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. Oh feel free to feel free to eat on stream and such. We'll, we'll work it out. Um, I would have, but it was kind of like a messy chicken sandwich, so oh no. I did not want to subject anyone, you were like, anyone you were, to watching that. You were like, I got to speed run it. It's all right. Oh, heck, we, we, have, we have often on Diesel Shot soft transitions to a popular category mukbang. But no, I feel you. <laughs> um, ASMR change stars. Oh, oh my change gosh. change ASMR stars. Yeah, yeah. So we return. We've got it, we've got the group a huddle of hope ahead of the the dramatically placed log campsite, and it's uh, I think it's just a question of what do you guys think that you're gonna do up here in these hills amidst uh the nature and life uh, that you have available. And, and uh, you know, you got a little camera. Oh, wait, did Cecily buy a tent? I'm trying to remember if I bought a tent. <laughs> if you didn't, we can say that I did. <laughs> um, nope, I didn't. I have binoculars, a flashlight, and glow stick, so I have the emergency preparedness gear. Yeah. Ah. I probably brought a tent, a small tent, probably a two-person tent that we're all going to have to stuff into. Nice. Perfect. And you hear the rolling of the waves. I don't think my character planned it out well enough to have gotten a bigger tent. <laughs> that tracks. That tracks. Okay. Yeah. Wait, so... is it raining? It's not raining. That's the sound of the river that runs that is rushing to the waterfall nearby. It's a Fortnite RDV. Oh, wow. Thank you, Ryan Prozac. Have a good lurk. So if the guides I read online are correct, we don't want to set up like too close to the river, but we also don't want to be like inconveniently far away from fresh water, you know? So like kind of a medium distance. Okay. So where do you want to split up? Well, I don't know. There's like that tower over there with kind of like that little lake pond thing. That could that could be cute. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It'll be like a fort. Oh my gosh. And imagine the oh, slate so pictures smart. we could get. Dude, yeah. we'll be like the talk of the local web. Mm hmm. The yeah. Local mesh. Indeed. Now the question. How do you cross the river to get to the other side? Well, there is that dramatically uh, located fallen tree down a little ways down the river. Do you guys see that? It's seriously so dramatic. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you think I could jump it though? Just you know, just the river. Mm, crap! It's, it's a two meter span, Honestly, bank maybe. to bank. Um, how fast there. moving is it, Lee? Um, n not the fastest. Like you don't. This could. This could not sweep you away. Okay. Um, but like you know, kind of tight. Kinda, like still like relatively fast for a river of its size, which is you know it's more. It does not creek seem size. dangerous though. Just no. to like be in. It, okay. it, it doesn't look it, like it. Also, like if you laid down in it, face down, you could drown yourself. But that's about it. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Chun, here, you should totally try it. Here, I'll film, and then, like, if yeah. you make it, it'll be, like, such a cool video, you know? Okay, but go somewhere deep so that if you fuck it up, you make a huge splash and not, like, body hits oh, the ground. Yeah, and, and then all, you like... want it, it could be, like, a hilarious fail video, and it'll still be really popular. Agreed. A hundred percent. Yeah, all right, all right. You, you and folk, I mean, Am I focused? We good? Um, oh, Cecily yeah. goes and finds like the the most optimal angle that she can to mm. to film this this right. jump feat. <laughs> you get set up with your camera. I'm gonna go on the other it. side and right. just be like, you, you can do it. Right, I believe yeah. in you. Yavana, to cross, make me a maneuver test. Mm. Okay. 
Yeah, it's pretty. Do you, do you, want, do you want to cross impressively or faster? Um, honestly, she's kind of thinking of the vid, mm. so she runs fast. Yeah, her hoofs go clippity cloppity, blocking off some of the former tree's property as twigs go flying, and she winds up on the far side to set up. Chun, uh, you got two camera women on point. Great. So got, first, Chun one. is gonna like ham it up for the camera and be like, uh, "Hey guys." It's your boy from Harper's Joy, Chun, and I oh. am going to be taking a leap across the river. And then he, like, kind of goes back a little bit and gets in, in a stance before sprinting forward and leaping. All right, let's fucking see. All right, is this a maneuver? This is absolutely a maneuver. This is the full send, Sean. All trains oh. love to hear. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sure? gain an edge to reach. Yeah. Mm. Right now you're gonna make it, but you're like, I must make this the greatest of crossing. It's gotta be so good. Gotta get so good. Oh yes. Yeah, you, you dedicate mm. those two twists, just like absolute beautiful, you know, thin out. Thorax out behind you. You you got the arms out. You you make it. You glide, you glide across this river and land with a meter to spare. A meter to spare. Being up against these, uh, these sticks. Yeah, you you fucking got it as you run into excellent. the last of the branches. John has just crossed the river in excellent style. Yeah, I, I land and definitely like flex it for the hurts. camera. <laughs> the camera loves you, John. <laughs> Cecily, yeah. yeah, Cecily well, wants to like, scream and jump, but she she holds it together for the sake of the vid, mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and then uh, like, but as soon as she pushes like end recording, like she's like, oh my god, John, that was amazing. Yeah, couldn't have done it without you, without you, without you. Save it for your fans. <laughs> We're all fans together. Okay, fair. <laughs> all right. You Cecily's will get us try. like close seating and oh. stuff, right? I, I, I have a quote. So, yeah. Yavana, you shared the stories about like the river sticks and like the, the memory for getting stuff, right? Yeah, she would have been super sarcastic about it. Yeah, she I probably would have like. I would again note. Garden, garden, garden. You can't quite. Uh, you think this might be a moss, but there's just like a green spattering on this mud bank. Um, but yeah, you guys are here. You are at the site. You have a lone Ooh. tent, and you got your little tower. You got your little little lake to paddle around in. It's you're on top of the world. You're on top of Harper's Joy, at least, which is a world. Yeah. Oh man, I mean Chun is just jazzed, and he's gonna start swimming around if that's a possibility. Oh yeah, you paddle around. This is. Like this part gets like vaguely deep enough for you to do that. You could have Ooh. a little swim. Um, you want Watch out for that memory stuff in the water. What Ooh. memory stuff? <laughs> <laughs> He's joking, right? You um, is he joking? Chun, well, honestly, Yvonne, I don't ever know if he like he might have actually just forgotten because. I feel like he forgets a lot of the stuff that I tell him, even though, like, I tell him, like, at least three times, and then he's like, you never told me that. You you know, you've seen, you've seen the whole song and dance before. Uh, yeah. Here, Ch here I'll check. Chun, what are our names? What, what's my name? Uh, Cecily, of course. Okay, see, we're totally good. Okay, he's fine. How's the water? It is amazing. Oh, doing a little What's float. That green, back. weird, mossy stuff over there. Chun, do you see that? Oh, yeah. Uh, like do you want me to check it out? Yeah, but like, yeah. careful. Like, if, because if it's like hazardous material or something, like chemical that they didn't pick up, just like maybe don't like touch it. Touch it? All right. No, no. no Chun! No! Right, Chun, you pop Chun. over. Um, <laughs> you, uh... Yes, yeah, so you, you look at it, right? Yeah. You, you scrape it up. It doesn't look like a moss. It's too independent. It doesn't have, like, the bristling of a colony. 
Um, remember in biology class, once like uh, a like a culture that your group had been working on, you know, Cecily did the research and uh, Yvonne and you did like the the, the dropper amounts. Mm -hmm. um, the bag exploded, and uh, the stuff that came out was kind of like this. You feel like it's kind of like a, a bacteria or something, but like so much of it together, it's like visible to the naked eye. Ooh. Ew. Um, Gross. How does it smell? How does it smell? Um, give me a scrutiny with a modifier of two due to your pheromonal uh, Great. sensitivity. Well, that's one success. Yeah, um, with one success, uh, you, with, with success, you gain and you see, um, yeah, this is a bit of a, a strange smell. Um, it reminds you of somewhere between, like, um, like, particularly dirty laundry and, like, lighter fluid. Um, uh. it, it, it doesn't smell like... Great. Um, mm -hmm. But it's only noticeable if you come up really close and pay attention to it. It's odors and travel. Oh. Um, so you didn't notice it until you literally came over here and, like, you're touching it, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, like, on your Cecily hands. Cecily told me to. I got Yeah, so you're touching it. Uh, it's, uh... Cecily did not tell you to. Yeah, uh, you, oh um... It doesn't seem to immediately do anything. If anyone wants to roll medicine to perhaps divine more, that would be an option. Let me see what my medicine is. <clears throat> oh, it's not terrible. It's not great, but I'll give it a go. Might as well. I don't think any of us are, like, actually trained. Nope. <laughs> well, yes, all right. I can um, try to see what like, It's a thing. Yeah, I'm really oh. just like, Chun, it's, don't, no, I said don't touch it. Oh so, Yavana, um, during rainfalls. That should be minus one, sorry. But yeah. Oh, because it was, it was a medicine test, not a scrutiny? Okay. Yeah. It's fine. It won't impact your status. You succeed. Um, you want to know more about why it's here, what it is. Um, so, do you want to know about, uh, like, how how it get how it got here? Uh, what it is, um, or the um, whether it's uh, naturally occurring. I will say right now, it seems like a weird. Um, it, it it strikes you as like a uh, a non useful microbe. Um, <laughs> And okay. it's just a thing, like, or rather, by that I mean, like, it's not any medicine that you're aware of, it's like penicillin or something. Um, it, it, uh, it looks like, without more equipment, you can't, like, study its makeup or anything. You're going off of scent and circumstance, um, and you're gonna guess it's washing out of the river and, uh, turning this color on contact with something in the mud. Okay. Is it naturally occurring? What is it? Okay, so you, uh, okay, so those are your two twists. Um, it's based on um, a, a close survey of the river and how it winds and winds. If it's naturally occurring, it's naturally occurring in small amounts upstream mm. near the near the mouth of the river uh, or the source of the river. What is it? Um, you uh, dig around in the mud, and there's clearly like colonies of. I don't use my hand. Okay, you use like a stick or something. There's clearly like colonies of um, certain insects and uh, moss that live inside the mud and consume the sediment delivered by the river, right? And the colonies seem focused under the green areas. Um. And it looks like maybe 
sunlight exposure turns it green. Like outside of a liquid dried out sunlight exposure dyes it green. And uh, the things here are feeding off of it. Um, <coughs> huh. I turned to the group. Did any of you pay attention in the one botany course we took? Is there like a plant? like does this or something because it looks like it's doing like some photosynthesis stuff that does sound pretty familiar I kind of described the, the stuff um, that I'm seeing uh, in as much detail as possible yeah, uh, yeah. give me a um, systems test with a modifier of two if you pay attention in school uh, like D for anyone who paid attention in school? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that would be Cecily. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Systems. Did either of us, um, John or uh, did either of us? <laughs> I, I, I know Chun didn't. <laughs> um, I don't think I did either. <laughs> I would like to reach, I think. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So gain one edge. Can I assist with a systems and be like, yeah, yeah. So what's well, I'm pretty well yeah. Sure so it was like that one chapter that I before felt you strange. reach, Yavano, how many skill points do you have in systems? I have one. Okay, just roll one no, more d six. So you roll okay. two more d six, Cecily. Okay. And that'll count as like you. You're okay. So gain one edge, reach, okay. and make a systems roll with a modifier of two because Yavana is helping you. Would it be four then? Because I had a modifier from paying attention in school. Yes, modifier okay. four roll. Pay attention, your friend is helping you out. You're stressing about it. Okay. Ooh, you succeed okay. I did it. Um, with an edge. Do you want to know more about the historical context of uh, what you were about to learn, or do you want to know more about directly applicable facts? The directly applicable facts. Like, what is relevant okay. to, uh, to Chun now touching it and, and everything uh, okay. like, so, at this moment? Initial success is just like, it's not poisonous or anything. Um, it was part of uh, the various ag programs done by the human empire here. It was intended to develop, so it's called chlorophytophil. And it is supposed to more or less be a self-sustaining like fuel, for lack of a better word, for ag for like hydrogenic, uh, hydroponic farming and um, livestock. It is to be consumed and then uh, it is essentially very resistant to acid and it, it, it doesn't leach, it doesn't allow all of its nutrients, nutrients to be leached out, but it can sort of self-sustain. So like it's growing in that mud. It's just that it was, it was, it, was in, it could have been splashed here by the river a while ago and it's just growing. You assume it got left because it's a thing people know about and isn't a contaminant. It's not going to kill anything. Um, it was sort of deemed a failed science experiment because the necessary things to do to make it mass scale applicable would have required extensive genetic engineering of the plants and animals that it would have been used with. And also, the person behind it, Artigan Vell, um, is a human was a human empire plantologist who was considered a war criminal by the Trinity and did not survive the fall of Harper's Joy. Um, apocryphally, uh, some people say Artigan Vell was uh, sick to the Star Shield on um, the arriving rebels, which doesn't make a lot of sense because they weren't of any sort of military or command authority. But, you know, stories get told. Okay. It's a uh, rural planet. People say stuff. Okay, so Artigan Vale, aka war criminal, aka also plant scientist, like mm -hmm. made that stuff. And oh, so shit. anyway, she Chen, you're fine. It's not like poisonous or anything. Um, it's just like another weird engineered plant. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Okay. Huh, crisis averted. No one is going to die. Once again. It's not We're poisonous. Good. It is okay, not poisonous. Okay, but she was poisonous. like a war criminal, though, right? Well, yeah, but like not for the plant stuff. That was like a different part of 
his life, I think. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um. Wow. You know, like, I, you know, I am, like, or I was class president and also, like, president of the, of the, like, junior diplomats club, you know? Like, those things are different. They're kind okay, of, totally. I, I compartmentalized, you know? So I think, like, he's, like, you know, plant scientist, like, inventor, and then also, you know, like, war criminal, you yeah. know? So Artigan By Vell, the way, it sounds horrible. Yeah. Artigan Vell was uh, the subject of a pretty extensive smear campaign after the war uh, by groups like Lilith Legion. Uh, nobody, I mean, nobody ever found his body. So there are people who say, oh, he's out there, but it seems unlikely it's been 100 years. Yeah. Was he human? He was human. Okay. I think you will see him. Ew. Is yeah. this stuff like rare? This chloro. Yeah, so uh... chlorophytophil um, is rare. Oh my god, wait. So I'm sorry, Chun ate it, right? Or no? Oh, I'm no. about to. Oh, I'm just no. kind of wait. <laughs> I'm waiting for a pause. <laughs> he's, in the, he's in the. He's assumed the position. You're reaching for it. Uh, so chlorophytophil oh, is. Not terribly rare, but you don't find it outside so much. Uh, people maintain cultures of it because of its unique properties, which have been derived. Like people study it to um, enhance um, photosynthesis of plants that already do it, because it has a novel mode of photosynthesizing. Okay, it's not. Does it have a particular taste? It's not bad to eat, is it? No, it it it, okay. it tastes like um, disgusting grass. <laughs> uh, Cheer Bati yeah. stretches the Lee as uh, I believe uh, Chun goes to eat. Oh. Yes, disgusting grass. <laughs> uh, God, okay. you're not supposed to eat it. Oh my God, it was made by a war criminal. <laughs> Uh, this it all adds up. <laughs> Cecily starts setting up like a little campfire and getting, <sighs> getting their little station all assembled and ready for hanging out. All right, where do, where do we put the six pack? Uh, so she starts like pointing Yvonne, Yvonne like this way and that like she has a very particular mm -hmm. setup that she's imagining for this whole okay, space. Okay. Chun's just like right here, and then he lifts his shirt up. <laughs> oh my god! So yeah, you guys. I lost you one. <laughs> yeah, so you guys, um, you know, you spread the camp. Important note: Do you guys actually drink a Pontiff's Red because it would knock your edge down one? Once yeah. I get the camp set up, yes. All right, so the camp is set up fastidiously. Who is doing most of the work? Definitely Cecily. All right, <laughs> give me an endurance test, Cecily. Oh, man. Okay. I do try to help. Can I add my one in endurance? Yeah, yeah you can. So modifier one, Cecily. Heck As yeah. Chun, Chun, you, I'm you've, gonna you've, need it. you've tasted the bacteria. <laughs> you've chugged yeah. the beer. It's yeah. camp time. Cecily, no! you get set up all according to what you want. You success, but then you realize you've left like the the selfie stick, uh, like like planting corner oh. misaligned with the photo opportunities, and uh, you, you 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 fix it without spending too much more time. But the stress of that, um, you actually it's not the stress of you, but you say a lot of things to Yavanna, and Yavanna's like, oh god, I have to help you with more support. Done. I want to go play. And then, uh, so she gains one edge, um, but you don't. You're, 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 you're satisfied. Um, okay. <laughs> and anybody who drinks a Pontiff's Red, uh, reduce your edge by one. Um, and yeah, so crack, crack, drink, drink. Um, it only works once per 10 hour third Pontiff's Red, but it has no other negative side effects because it's just, you know, Ooh. such a small amount of alcohol. It's not going to progress any further. You guys <laughs> have chilled. Um, had some cracked up and some cool ones with the gang. I'm going to assume that you, Cecily, have a variety of activities in mind, including photo opportunities, um, <laughs> killing, uh, swimming, and that all of you have a bit of a, a bit of a montage, a bit of a montage. I would give you an opportunity here to, you know, give, let us know any of the montage opportunities before things progress. So actually, kind of a little bit 
against her character, Cecily has left things, like, she had to really try hard, but she has, like, less, left things open. Like, this was kind of as far as her plan went, and then she was just going to, like, take a deep breath and let, you know, like, let the night take its course kind of thing. Because um, she knows that's how Yvonne and Chen more roll, and she wants this to be, like, fun <laughs> for them. Um, wow. So that's she, probably... she's, like, yeah, taking a big step. <laughs> That's probably a shocking development. I could see. Amazing. Yeah, the camp is set up and Chun and, and Yavanna sit down and are like, okay, now what? And yeah, and Cecily's like, I have no plans. It's just, we are just going to take the night as it comes. And as much as it scares me to say this, improvise. Oh, my. Yes. <laughs> yes. She's improvising! Oh my yes. god, this calls for a celebration. Another pond is red! <laughs> Just gonna crack one on his head after he finishes it. <laughs> Just like a. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, if we're improvising, I might have done a little bit of digging of my own. And I have, and she pulls out a couple pieces of paper. A bingo list. A bingo list? Okay, is Yeah, Chen, it's like this is, ancient is, thing that people used to do at parties and stuff. Is it like you check off the boxes or whatever? So like, all right, it, you'll see on, on the bingo, there's like little phrases, right? And if you see that, like here, completely covered in Vine's car, that, that one's like pretty much a gimme, right? You check mm. that off. Basically, Got throughout it. the night, if we see these things on the piece of paper, we write them off. Okay. And and then and then what? Like what happens? I mean, like if you fill your whole paper first, you win. I think. Yeah, that's how oh. it goes. Yeah. yeah, you got to check off all the things, and when you check them all off, you win. That's how bingo works. Ominous log. Ominous log. <laughs> oh off. yeah! Oh my god, that's on mine too. Yes. Does anybody see um, a lizard with green stuff growing on its head? That was a pretty obscure one. Hoping I haven't find. seen that yet, but if we <sighs> get some of that chlorophytophyll, we could like put it on the lizard. And that I think would, that like, would count. count. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think it would. Totally. It's too bad that Chun eating some weird foreign substance is not on this bingo card, because oh. that would have been an easy check. Okay, but write it down, and next time we do this sort of thing, we'll include it. And then, you know, after she says that, she has a little bit of a pause. She's like, yeah, I mean, you know, if we ever do this sort of thing again. Yeah. Hopefully. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. We're, we're all going off to do our own thing, but we'll stay in contact. Like, we're best friends. Right. Yeah, I mean, like, Chen, like, there's an off-season. Yeah. Absolutely. I could come here between matches. And, and, like, I'm sure I'll be traveling a lot with, you know, like, intergalactic politics and stuff, so... Exactly! Like, I'm sure you'll be, like, some sort of high pollutant representative of the sector. You'll have to come see us. Because we're all gonna be, you know, hot shots ourselves. Yeah. Totally. It'll be fine. It'll be Cheers fine. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. She puts up her, uh, her glass, but, like, she kind of turns aside... Uh, and, you know, you'd probably know. She's she's not sure where she's going to end up. She has no idea, no grand plans for herself. She doesn't know where she's going to be. She does not believe that she's going to be a hotshot. Ooh. I mean, if Chun notices that um, Yavana is, like, a little... seems a little down, he's going to offer the... Uh, the machete and say hey this is really fun do you do you want to give it a swing sure all right 
Um, what do I swing at? It's up to you. Okay. You can and swing at me. Up, I have uh... bracers on. Um, no, oh, I don't. No. Let's maybe not, like, start with that. She grabs to the, uh, the pontiff reds and she's like, all right. Um, well, what is that saying in Gravfall where you serve? Thing. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, you, just, you launch the, it? You launch it? Launch it? Launch it. There we are. Here's to uh, next time we see each other. Launch it. And she uh, knocks the uh, Trulies, or the um, the Pontiff's in half. <laughs> Amazing. I hate, to, I hate to say this, but give me that, that melee test. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, swords are... <laughs> Let the record state, uh, modifier one weapons. Hey, you hit it in the process, like a little bit of extra metal, like dances near Cecily just enough that she's like, eh, and gains one edge as your like hand wavers. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe that's enough macheting for the night. Uh, Fair you know, just while we're like drinking and stuff, that seems like not you know like machetes plus pontiff reds like yeah you're Good probably point. right mm -hmm. so, that's why you're going into politics <laughs> indeed i will definitely lead with that uh that like hey i was hello you know senator i was responsible enough to not swing machete while i was yeah. inebriated that'll be your first law <laughs> no macheteing while intoxicated I mean, right. you know, I'm sure that's already a law that we're breaking. <laughs> I mean, where did this machete even come from? Well, whoever rented that car, I guess. I guess. We'll just give it back to Marianne and she can, like, put it in the lost and found. Or, I don't know, she could sell it, I guess. <laughs> I mean, that sounds reasonable. It's not like we'll have any use for machete after this. Do you think that would qualify for Lux? Would that be like a luxury? Like a machete? A luxury machete? I, mm, it a just luxury does look kind of luxury. Yeah, it looks kind of luxury. <clears throat> All right. Well, are there any more, uh, any more surprises for the night? Ah. <sighs> I hope there aren't more surprises. I, I like I am already kind of at my limit right now with like oh not really knowing what we're doing next and Yeah. You know, but here we are. We're having fun, improvising, having fun. Yeah. Okay. You are. Yeah. You're having fun. Um as you're saying this and having fun, you like you, Cecily, you check your uh your slate for whatever reason and you note that um like as you look at it um, you lose connection, which has been happening in the mountains. Um, would you like try and like go wave it somewhere where you've had better connection? Um, you've had good luck by the tower. I'll, I'll say yeah because I'm. Let's. I'll say I was trying to upload uh Chun's yeah. Chun's video. Yeah. You're yes. trying to finish uploading the video, and yeah, it's not coming back here. Um. All of you would know that uh, your mesh devices, um, like your your slates, just don't have connection. Okay, Cecily's gonna. Is there a way to climb up this tower or there like a is, staircase or something? Get, get, it's not. There's no staircase. It's pretty short. You have like a lot of rungs. But you have to give me a maneuver test. Is Cecily gonna okay. go for the climb? Yeah, Cecily like takes a breath and she's like <sighs> improvising. Okay. Chun's gonna record this. <laughs> oh great. Oh my god. Definitely don't send that out anywhere. We have to use that to blackmail her when she's a famous politician. Oh, good point. <laughs> so, you successfully surmount. Hey, come to Spirit. You successfully surmount the tower. Um, but, you know, you kind of scrape your knee a little and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, it's better than worth it. You hold up the slate, not worth it. Um, you don't feel great about that and you feel like you might have, like, you know, like a, 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 a slight negative modifier to a related test soon. But um, okay. around this time, um, are any of you guys gonna check your your slates any further? Like, 
And if you think that you have, like, knowledge of technology to the level where you can be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to open up the things and figure out what's wrong. For it's what it's worth, I think at this point, Cecily would, like, yell down to them. Mm -hmm. Be like, hey, are you guys getting, like, slight service? I know it's been spotty, but mine just, like, dropped suddenly, and I can't even get it up here. Yeah. Let me check. Yeah. If anyone wants to, like, pop in, they could roll a systems test. I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah, Yolana, uh, it seems like you had it and you didn't. I'll take a look. In a book. <laughs> Two. <Johnny laughs> <Gold. laughs> I love that. Was a... no. oh. So. Didn't see anything. I think it's just shitty connection. I, Chun is going to take an edge and try to reach because he's like, wait. What if the video doesn't go out and it just disappears? Like an out about it, like, oh no. no. I gotta get that video out. Let's see. You I succeed. Oh my God. Chun, you <laughs> open up a sub menu in your slate, which shows the like like uh, connection history, right? And it shows all the devices you connect to and how you go around the satellites. And normally it's like Orbital 701, uplink in connection with et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Fading, fading, uh, packet loss unacceptable. Um, Oh, probing for access, probing for access. Um, and it's like a, it's like a heartbeat, right? Think of it like a heartbeat sensor, even when you don't have signal. Mm -hmm. And around the time, sometime before Cecily noticed it, there's a deadline. You're not waiting for a signal from a satellite. You're not waiting for a connection from a passing plane anymore. It just says nothing. And you only know of one time this happened, Chun. And uh, it's in one of your favorite hollow vids uh, a scare film about resurgent imperial remnants called blue october where the remnant used uh a military grade jamming device known as a babylon box to block all communication in a wide radius and the only people able to communicate in that area were people on their tack mesh We're in a movie, guys. The what? Mo what? As, as you try and get the fact that Chana just said that to you in, right? You hear, oh, oh, oh. And you hear a chorus of, oh, 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 oh. As there is a rustling in the woods. Cecily, you are in a freestanding tower. There's like just wide enough you stand on. And you have just heard a fuckload of wolves. And they sound close. How do you think Cecily reacts around this juncture? So this tower is only big enough for me to stand on? Only big enough for you to stand on, and it is um, not like terribly tall, but like, you know, like probably like person height. Uh. Hey. Hmm. Uh, well, Cecily is definitely freaked out. Um. Do they sound like they're coming from, like, this way or, like, this they way? They sound like they're coming from uh, west across the river, but also ah. maybe slightly south. It's hard to say. You give me a scrutiny to try and study uh, what's yeah. out there. But or you know you scraped your knee and were already a little frustrated earlier with that level yeah. one shock? Screen's at a minus two right now. Okay. As you're just trying to push through this. John and uh, Yavana, how would you begin reacting? Holy Desolate, shit. you succeed. You know they're coming from the south. You know they're coming from the west. And not only that... You see what looks like maybe some high ground near a cliff to the east. And you think that based on what you know about, uh, you know, avoiding wolves, maybe if you could get up in there, you might be able to uh, to keep them off of you. Okay. This makes sense, because Cecily would have definitely scoped out the campsite for, like, if wolves come, where do we go? You know, she has emergency preparedness plans. <laughs> also, Cecily, you've seen all of the wolves. Um, oh ah. my fucking god! Yeah. Uh, okay. Jump, are you gonna Are you gonna hop down from the tower? Uh, Jump yeah, down. I'm, yell I'm yelling to them. I'm and I'm saying, "Go east, east, up on that hill. You see it?" And I'm oh as I'm like trying to scramble god. down. Yeah. All right. So you you make the you make the drop, Cecily. Um, and all of you make a man if you're just gonna run, make me a maneuver test. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh, oh. Am I still at a minus two? Or... No, no, not for this test. Okay. Um, oh, ooh, important note, in this ah. test, you can share successes with the fellow people 
Where oh. what you see is Cecily is dra lagging behind. Cecily can reach it, but if any of you, yeah, Ch so Chun, yeah, yeah, Chun, you're reaching it. You're going for it. You're like, I can't leave a teammate behind. And Cecily, uh, you're like, uh oh, I'm full yeah. by. Okay. Chun, Chun hustles you, right? Hey, amazing. Chun hustles you. You gain edge as Chun is pushing you, and you hear the wolves, and you're not. You're you're freaking out. You're at three. Um, Let's go. Okay. But the wolves across the river don't manage to cross too fast, but the ones on your side uh, are gaining kind of fast. Uh, and you find yourself, um, you find yourselves running up to this cliff, uh, the, this near cliff area where you think you've got a pretty good place to set up. And uh, you, you, you run up and the wolves... Like the little wolves behind you, right? Like you make it up this rock, and you're like, "Okay, we're good." The 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 wolves can't climb this, right? That's what you're thinking. You may even say that, Cecily. And then you look down at the wolves, and the wolves look up at you, and you look at the delay a moment, and then they hear you hear, "Oh, oh!" coming from the top of the hill. You realize you're almost near the peak of the mountain at this point. In fact, you 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 can see Crane like very nearby up this like over this ledge, uh, the comms tower, the ancient comms tower, and uh, you after the wolves received that yell, they begin deliberately trying to like claw and scrape their way up the rock. Um, so you got some buddies. Holy Zeke. So we heard like more wolves. You heard a single we voice. Way. You heard a single voice doing a wolf cry from uh, the mountain top, and um, like in the direction we're headed. Kinda, except like yeah, like of the head, like up and over you're headed. But right now your back is to like this sort of like area, right? Like you climbed up, you thought it was safe. The wolves are beginning to climb up, but your wow. back is to like this sort of like mossy growth. As we get it closer, it looks more like it's stretching over an opening rather than some sort of like like, growth over a wall itself. If you were to tumble through here, maybe you could find a place to be safe. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I think Cecily, like, motions through, 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 through! We gotta, gotta go push through! It, push it through! Oh my god! Alright, you dive through. Only an endurance or maneuver at your preference. Just, like, crash through this. Hey. Okay. Endurance or what? Maneuver. Or maneuver. Okay. Oh god. Preference. Deep, I'd like to go deep, last. Deep. All right, you can go last. So the, the vines clatter, uh, the growth rips away. You know that there's some weird chlorophytophil looking kind of stuff enmeshed in it, kind of like it's growing together. I'm reaching because I got zero. Oh my oh, gosh. Can, wait, 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 I, I'll return the favor. I'm, uh, I have an extra, I, can I do that? I yeah, yeah, so here's what I'll say. Okay. Cecily handles getting you through. Trying to be like, oh, and then Cecily grabs you by the bracer, yoinks you up and you can spend that endurance. You see ahead of you, Chun, a rusty looking metal door, I would let you spend that test on simply bodying your way through it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you you, oh you God, crash man. with a fucking slide tackle dive and you yeah. are in an ancient, rusted out looking building. The wolves are clattering and you see their heads being to poke over looking at you, Cecil and Nirvana. Oh. Not, no time to wait. Are you running in? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. deek, 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 deek. All right, Where's the, the thing? Where's the thing to put on the door? Yeah, the door uh... seemed like the, like the, like, it, like the hinges are a little messed up. You have to make a mechanics or endurance. You see a rusty multi tool here. A multi tool with the brittle property, if you wanted to use that. But uh, you get to use a do something to get this door closed because they're coming. John, do you yeah. know how to close doors? Yeah, it, and I'm just like trying to just smash it into the into the gap. Yeah. You said endurance is a possibility. Yeah, or mechanics at your preference. Oh, definitely endurance. Oh, yeah. That's a super twist. Oh my god, amazing. Um, oh my gosh. Holy the shit. The next time that you are trying to like physically manipulate a door with your raw strength, you get one automatic success. And okay. you close you close the door, slammed shut swiftly. The uh, the wolves shut out outside, and they kinda of like paw and like yelp at it before you hear another distant woo woo. Although weirdly, you feel like you hear that cry from above. Echoing through the metal of the chamber. And the clawing outside stop. You look around, and you are in a dusty old human empire facility. A strange metal machinery part glints its fallen wreckage in a crumpled room to your north. And to the east, a large 
infected, rotted engine. Covered in rust. It's been crazy weak. Hey, Lena. Um, hey. Pull out the flashlight. Got the flashlight oh, out. Tick. I do. And you see the world around you. Um, it glistens and glitters. Um, and uh, it, it looks strange. Um, it uh, This sort of a uh, you know, like a, it's like a hidden doorway into the side of it. Um, you know that oh, the human wow. empire is all about that sort of thing. The, uh, you know, been discarded within modern times. Hmm. Okay, she'll peek first into this side yeah. room. The main thing of note: it seems like whatever this room was, maybe a hallway. It's completely crashed, and through this rubble, which is like this, like metal bars, like at chest height, and like that you may be able to duck through, but it would be kind of difficult. You see, uh, some sort of piece of machinery that looks slightly better, like off than the rest of the stuff around here. Hey, Chun or Yovana, what, um, what is this? You guys I'm know what this okay is? Pretty okay, like machinery stuff. Or, like, at least identifying. Yeah, you could stuff. roll mechanics or systems. It looks like some sort of spinny, winny thingy. Winny. I'm gonna push that or reach that. Um, I think I wanna impress that I know stuff about oh, things. Oh, here's the thing. So, Yovana. Fuck. Yovana, you remember. It's it's an engine part. Uh, it's an engine part for, 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 for. Yovana, like, goes blank and, like, can't. Continue speaking until she is impressed Cecily by knowing what the thing is, no matter what you say to her. And this goes on for, like, a minute. All three of you gain one edge as you're like, Yavana, and then you're like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's an engine part for, for mostly elevators. Uh, mostly bunker elevators. Yeah. What? Did I stutter? Okay, I don't know why that was, like, such a big thing. Um... It was important, okay? Because okay. they run elevators and stuff. Right. Okay, yeah, it's fine. We've all just run <laughs> literally for our lives. So let's just okay. Let's just all take a deep breath. It's <sighs> we're fine. We're going to be fine. I have a flashlight. I have glow sticks. Right. Chan, do you have the rope? Yes. Oh, I forgot about that. Good. So we'll be, this will be fine. Um... Let's just, I guess, maybe find a way back out. I thought there. I read about wolves, but I just think they were like real. You hear, like, a patter somewhere nearby, and then a whoosh. Ugh. What the hell was that? Cecily's just like pointing, like aiming the flashlight all over, frantically trying to to. Identify the source of the sound. Give me a scrutiny. No negative modifier because you have a nice source of light that is helping you. Okay, Ooh. yeah, here's the thing. Ooh. You swear, disappearing into this doorway, you can see the fluttering of a cape. The next time you're trying to detect someone or something, you gain plus one. But here's the creepiest thing, Cecily. You almost see a a glowing blue trail from the direction of the cape as it disappears. That's only with a super twist you're seeing that. With a regular success, you would have heard the movement plodding in here. But you see a cape and a blue eye, or a blue a blue glow, I'll say. Blue glow. Like a blue kind of wispy trail. Yeah, like thing. a blue wispy trail as if they're like, maybe a glow stick could just pop swiftly moved or something. Oh, okay, I understand. Um... Uh, she starts reaching behind her like you do in like a haunted house when your partner is like not near you and you're like, where are you? Like, where are you? Um, where are you? Yovana? Uh, uh, Chen? Um, yeah. Okay, listen, I know, Yovana, that I like that we were laughing about like the sticks thing and like the Cerberus and like the blue stuff, but like I swear I'm not joking right now. I literally saw a cape go like a like someone go through that door and they had like a they were like glowing blue or something like i don't know if it was like a glow stick but like that that is i swear i swear on my life that that is what i saw oh. all right cecily if you're lying this isn't funny Ivana, i am wolves. 
I am dead serious. Okay. You know... Okay, I was gonna say you know that I don't lie. That is a lie. But I'm not lying right now. Alright, well... I'm gonna believe you, but, like, super rude if you are. Just like, you... this is kind of fucked up. Um, yeah. I'm thinking, like, maybe we don't want to run into Cape Blue person? Blue Cape? Can we can we go with that? Can we call it Blue Cape for now? I guess that's better sure. than, and then I whisper, better than Guardian. Let's, let's maybe not say that, like, right it's now. It's okay. It's okay. She only said it once. We're good. Hey, just, yeah. let's, let's maybe just, like, try, let's just walk quietly through here. I'm, I'm kind of, I want to shine the flashlight kind of toward the other end and see if there's any other way out, and it yeah, looks like there is So what you see <laughs> is, like, this room houses an engine. Uh, Yvonne would be able to identify it as missing the part that's in that room through the bramble, and uh, the power Gosh. couplings seem to have been, like, yoinked by someone who didn't know what they were doing. It's left, like, unplugged, lying around. It'll be a bit of finagling with it and the part back in to get it going. To the north looks like an elevator shaft. It's like an elevator, uh, a a compartment, actually. Oh, we could probably get the elevator working again, don't you think? Okay. Yeah. That's Good like it. definitely where Blue Cape went, but I guess that's our only option. Okay, but like it also doesn't look like it. Oops, sorry, I did not mean to jump in there. It also doesn't look like it like works. Cecily will very cautiously kind of approach this doorway. You and like and shine yeah like you know Cecily um there is a very hard wired looking shutter box here um for like directly like pu pushing a mechanical button and making something get powered um these panels are incredibly uncommon even in uh like more common in a rural setting I would say so you've seen them like old farm equipment old buildings will have them uh you know that the only reason modern political types have them is uh, if that is wired how you suspect, it would either be resistant to or immune to any sort of hacking because it would literally just be electrical signal, go to box, make motor turn, no computer attached. Okay. And that can make it hardened against a lot of things. And if this is as hardened as a usual uh, human fireplace would have been, it would have given it EMP hardening, which was fairly desirable. Um. I want Cecily wants to check this elevator chamber thing, whatever this is, for any like secret doors, like any way that this blue cape person could have like come in yeah. and then been like, oh, I disappeared because yeah. I'm a ghost, but like actually there's yeah. you know a trap door. Or Give me a scrutiny, uh, and you gain regardless of what you roll on this, you'll gain one extra automatic success because of your super twist earlier. Okay. Okay, uh, you look up. With the twist, I'm going to say you get all the information. Okay. Uh, and, yeah, you look up, and you see a slightly ajar um, panel. And it looks like it is where a, 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 a slap shut, uh, like, hatch is. That being said, it doesn't okay. even have, like, a secured latch or anything. It's slightly ajar as if, though, used to being, like, bandied about. Hmm... Okay, she'll kind of duck out <clears throat> and say, Chun, there's yeah. like a, there's like a panel or something in the, in the roof of that chamber. Oh, do you know. want me to I'm, lift you up? Or like, can you reach it? I don't know. May yeah, just come look. And Yvonne, okay. maybe we should see about getting this thing powered up. There's like an old, old, old power plate in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, let me do what I can do. I'm gonna try and fish that other thing back out. Alright. Um it's gonna be a maneuver to go fish out of that part, Ivana. Um, Chun, you're you're in the room just like hanging out with Cecily. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. Uh Am I what? tall enough to reach it or do would I have to lift up Cecily to um, reach it? Your hands just like straight up stretched, um, Barely, but also you can climb on the wall. 
Oh, right. I forgot I can do that. Ivana's back, like, literally so fast you think she couldn't have gotten the part, but she is with an automatic success on the next one. As oh, my gosh. The part. Yeah. Um, she's so embarrassed about this. her freeze up earlier that she's like, I'm not going to screw this up. Nope. Uh, I know what this the... says. It's a very important elevator piece. I'm so smart. That's the most successes I've ever seen. <laughs> Hell yeah, she's putting this elevator back together. <laughs> While Chun climbs the wall, I will be right back in just a second. Yeah, um, Chun, what are you looking at? What you doing? I'm I'm gonna check the the ceiling, the the panels to see, like if there might be any trace of anyone, like, up there. Hey, give me a scrutiny. Uh oh. Uh, also, you could give me a mechanics. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, my mechanics is all right, I guess. Oh, ouch. You elbow Cecily and give her one edge that I will just throw oh. on her. Uh, <laughs> as you're looking, you see signs that these panels have been, like, removed and fucked with and used to climb about. And the method of the climbing is, like, I don't know if you heard, but you got one edge I put in your character sheet. Uh, as Chun, uh, you know, nudges yeah. you. Chun, ouch! Chun, I'm sorry. You determined. I'm sorry. Something has been climbing around here, Chun. Definitely climbing. And, like, the metal doesn't, and the panels don't seem to be a big impediment to it. Seems to have popped away likely panels and opened up the door. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, something's been up here, Cecily. Ape. I'm sorry. What, like blue cape? I don't know, but it it looks like something's been moving and climbing up around here. So, uh, you guys. You want... Oh, do you want me to go in further? Um, I don't know. Maybe just look up there a little bit. Here, take the flashlight. Don't leave us behind, okay? Just like take a peek. Don't okay. hit anything. All right, all right. Flashlight. So, flashlight on. Uh, meanwhile, Yvonne Bell, you've got the part back. It's got an obvious place to put it in, um, but the electrical rewiring required a uh, mechanics or a systems for electrical engineering stuff. Um, use that rusty multi, you gain a modifier of one, but are you, okay. your friends are in the elevator shaft, poking around. Are you going to go check them out? Um... I think I want to see if I can't fix it first. All right, give me a. That would be the most. Impressive. And do you do you have the rusty multi? Mm-hmm. All right, mechanics or uh, systems of one, or systems with modifier of one. Cecily, you have the light. You're poking it up. Chun, you get to the hatch. The hatch is a little right. bit like rusty and like creaky. Give me a mechanics to force it open. You'll gain one automatic success on this test either way because of Sick. your earlier super twist. Oh, you oh my gosh. Again for opening <laughs> doors. You you bop it open with a clatter and a clang. Oh there's God. some there's some rust dust. Uh you are out here. Um and you are like atop the elevator carriage, right? Mm-hmm. And uh you, you come through the hatch. Cecily is looking up through the hatch as well. Uh, you're both looking up, I presume, with a, a thin ray of light piercing through from where Cecily is uh, blaring it. Oh, I I handed the flashlight oh, to Chun. Chun. Chun holds it up, and Cecily, you're watching too? Uh, yeah, I mean, as much yeah. as I can see from, like, below Chun, because I'd probably kind of be trying to look past him. But... There's, you hear a thudding, and then shh. Splashing of something. Give you could either of you could give me a scrutiny on this. As uh, Yavana, you want to do faster or do a better job because these electrical cables and everything look pretty worn. And if you don't be do a very thorough job, even if you bring it back online, uh, you know it could have problems. I think I'm gonna do it faster because I want to know what's going on up there. 
Yeah, uh, Cecily, it sounds like spray paint hitting metal and something walking around, like metal on metal. And around that time, you hear a flapping. Something darts out. Something swift moving darts out from an elevator open door, an open, like, elevator landing door above you. Sean and Cecily, what would you immediately do as that happens? It's like whistling in the air and metal is coming. Um, I think if, if Matt is okay with this, I think Cecily, like, pulls on Chun's leg like, uh. to get like get him back in yeah, the you, elevator you, chamber you, or whatever. You leap and try to like bring Chun down into the chamber. Give me a maneuver for that, Cecily. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so no. appropriate. <laughs> you, 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 you leap up with bounding strength, grab Chun's legs, and wipe out on the ground next to him. Both of you are prone. Um, Guys, what's going on? You can, Lena, you can still pre-order this game on Backergate. Look at the Kickstarter page. And both of you guys gain one edge. I'll put it on you. And, uh, Cecily, you drop the... You drop the flashlight. And there's, like, a tink. And uh, you see the... you see What you see is Cecily rapidly disappears. There's a clanging of metal. The... El the Light falls and go tink, and the flashlight turns off. And there is a strike of metal next to both of you as you look up in terror. Give me uh, Cecily and Chun a resolve test. Right. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, Cecily, oh, stay strong. Oh, wow, Chun. <laughs> but Chun is suffering a level 3 plus shock, which means that Chun is basically, like, l l l losing it. Um, and you both see what's on it. A piece of sheet metal spray-painted in red says, Stay here. <laughs> that would be pretty terrifying. Yeah. Do I have to make a resolve check to not freak out at Chun freaking out? Uh, no, but here's okay. the thing. Chun completely freaking out um, is, like, messing with you. And Chun, you just, like, stay here, stay here, stay here. And all you can think, Chun, is you are in a movie, but the genre has changed. It is a slasher, and you are the targets. And it's just a matter of who's oh. next. And, uh, yeah, you feel like you've crossed the threshold, you got chased in here, and now you're in here with the killer, you're in here with Blue Cape, and who knows, um, but stay here is all you can think, you can't disobey that order, Chun. You can't not, in, you cannot fail to stay here. Yeah, I'm in fetal mantis position right now, just rocking. Oh. Cecily, you can try and break Chun out of it. But because you're so disturbed by it happening at all, you're going to have to wait a moment before you even attempt. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I think Cecily sees this uh, and is is going to re like uh, rustle around for the flashlight. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you you don't feel it. You realize it's... You, you think you heard a clang in the elevator carriage. It must have fallen. When you when you reached out, reached out both hands for Chun's legs... You dropped it. Oh, like fallen in the elevator shaft? Yeah. No, no. It, oh, no. No, no, no. It didn't fall off in the elevator oh, okay. shaft. It's down in the elevator and you're on top of the elevator. Oh, okay. Got it. So do you want to you wanna try and like drop back in? Yes. Sorry. I was thinking yeah. I was already down there, but no, yes, yeah, that's so what so I you, want you, to You do. clamber. You drop down a little. Um, the floor is a little uneven. The carriage shakes as you drop. You pick up the flashlight doesn't turn on when you hit the on switch would you try and like actually like force it to work um i'll just try it the one time first and then i'm gonna also yell to you Yiv yvonna um who is in like the next room right yeah and yeah. here's the thing y yvonna you finished um all of the electrical work just now and you mm -hmm. turned over you're looking at cecily and cecily's holding up this like flashlight and you guys here you don't you don't Dunk, dunk, as a chain wheels and Chun, you feel the elevator, and Cecily, you feel the elevator shudder and then slowly begin to lift. Yavana, it the, the elevator is taken off. Oh, Deke, Yavana, hurry, come on, come on, come oh! on. I want to try and maneuver to get on it. 
Yeah. Oh, oh nice. nice. Shout and help. Yeah, oh, yeah, you got you, it. Yeah. Uh, your level one shock is in the okay. process. You drop the rusty multi tool, run oh. in, and then you ascend above um, the line. Chun, all you can oh. think is stay here, stay here, stay here. But you oh. are physically incapable of following that. You are pinned to the roof. All you can think is that you're in a horror film. Give me uh -huh. a resolve test, Chun, to get through this. All uh, right. To, to push on beyond. One success of the shock. Chun? Uh, you drop your slate, and it winds... You hear a roll, a clunk, and you see... Ka -dunk, ka -dunk, the chain catches it, and it's knocked down and scatters uh, down the elevator shaft. Your slate is gone. Your connection to the outside world severed as a cord cut. But it snaps you out of complacency. And you remember that your greatness cannot be taken lying down. And you are no longer in a level 3 plus shock. You're you're back in action, but you do gain one edge as you come out of it. Um, right. And you so, guys... Cecily's trying to hoist Yavanna up to like, we, we have to get Chun. He's like, he's like in like a state of shock up there. Hmm. Oh my gosh! Right, so you're trying to uh, you're trying to boost yeah. Yavanna up. Yeah, unless we see sh unless, until Cecily sees Chun, like, move. I'd say by the know. time you're seeing Chun move, you've already got like Cecily like halfway through here. And uh, oh yeah. Oh my gosh! Are you okay, Chun? Speak to me, or like you know. Yeah. Uh, oh, I just. I'm sorry. I, oh, the, this thing fell, and I just I freaked out. I freaked no, it's out. Totally fine. This is kind of fucked up. I uh, yeah. did not know that the elevator would start moving immediately when I pressed, you know, the on switch. Hey, speaking of elevator moving, like I love you both, and I don't want you to get squished against the oh, ceiling or whatever. Yeah. Uh, can, grab that thing. Grab the metal thing. Go Bring right, it down so in here. Shutter, yeah. Shutter. All right, Shun, come on. Okay. I think at least one of us gets it down. Yeah. That just didn't fall in love. Oh my gosh. That is quite the message to highlight, Lena, but uh, does not does not happen to occur. Um, so the whole room shutters, and uh, as you guys like huddle down in, everybody, give me your choice of maneuver or endurance to like engage in the cavalcade of three people popping down. Okay. All right. Do you, do you want me to too? Because Cecily was just hanging. <laughs> Yeah. Like waiting down there. No, you know, you just wait. You don't okay. have to do it if you, at all. Oh, okay. Um, but you can if you want. Give like a like your skill points and a oh, modifier like to help. help someone. Yeah. Uh, Cecily, I, I think knows she's not great at this. You fell for the puns. <laughs> yeah. All right. You guys managed to do a good job. Um, sure. Yvonna, um, you twist your hoof a little, but that's probably fine. You'll just maybe have a negative modifier the next test. Good dunk. Ow. Your. Ascent stops. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Who's got the uh the big shield shaped uh this metal? I, I guess you guys. Oh, it's Chen has it. This the is it the stay here metal? Did somebody yeah. grab that on the way down? I let you yeah. spend a twist to do that. All right. Yeah. You have you have the stay here sheet metal. Um. You should maybe hold that up in front of us. Yeah, do, Lee, do the doors, like, automatically open, or... There like, are no... Like a... The elevator's doors haven't opened this entire... Or, uh, haven't closed this entire time. Oh, okay. And this elevator landing, you look, and the doors have been, like... They look uneven. Like, somebody has taken, like, a, a sliding door that goes in and out. And you even see crumples around chest height. Like, ripped it open, pried it open, and crashed it out. And it is just broken, and it's been rotting there for who knows how long. Goody. Okay. Uh, in the room beyond, you see uh, rust uh, wall and... Um, oh, what's that? Bone! Okay, Yvonne, do you think you could get this, like, working again? I don't know. It fell and, like, cracked or something. I don't know if it's broken. Uh, she'll hand Yvonne the flashlight. Okay, let me see what I can do. Um, oh, jeez. Do I know how to do this? Finding thread? Yeah, give me a mechanics test. Uh, it's you know mostly just like jiggle the connection between the battery and the lamp. Yes. You were fine. Um, and ooh, the lamp uh, comes. Uh, the the so you saw like <sighs> outlines earlier, but if you step through here with your 
Uh, so, so here's a question. How do you guys advance? You have a flashlight, but how are you moving into this room? I've got the shield, so I can move forward with that. All right, yeah. you go okay, first. Okay, so up Chana front. in front, and then, like, Yvonne, Someone maybe do you want to, like, hold it over his shoulder? Um, yeah, okay, that sounds And then, good. like, I'll hold onto your yeah. shoulder so we won't, we aren't going to get separated. Like, we'll just kind of, like, move yeah. together. The okay? three of you yeah. conga line into the room, and uh, you, oh, you shine God, the light like, on a skeleton marked with dents, shatters in the skull, and along several other bones. Uh, what looks oh. like a bullet hole, uh, almost nailing the skull into a piece of computer. Oh my stars. Um, oh my stars. That's a bullet hole, isn't it? Oh my stars. What kind of skeleton is it, Lee? What, is, what kind of, uh... It definitely strikes you as human. It has human feet, which is a pretty easy giveaway. Um... Okay. Yeah, um... There is, by the way, like a laminated... There's like... There's like... Very faded remnants of maybe like an impression of what was once cloth or blood on the ground so long ago that, you know, it's been eaten away at. But you do mm. see one shiny thing on the ground. It looks like a laminated bit of something. Okay. Yeah. Um, do I see that? You see it? Okay, let, let's like... Go that way, Chen. All right. Like, yeah, no, I feel you. We like caterpillar up to the laminated thing. <laughs> All right, you, you, it's right next to the to the skeleton. Uh, I guess Cecily can pick it up since Chun's holding the shield and Ivana's on um, on, on light flashlight duty. duty. Yeah, um, yeah. You this this is probably your first time next to a human skeleton, particularly one that uh, looks to have died by violence. Give me a resolve yeah. to reach next to the corpse. Oh man! And just like pick it up, like yeah. it ain't no thing. I should have. I guess my resolve is a terrible. We'll see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Three successes yeah. and a and a shot. The level one edge. You kind of like you, you you pick it up. You like, you you hop back and you uh you nudge uh Yavana not hard but frighteningly and Yavana gains one edge. Um. Oh, and you sorry. you pick it up oh. and you see it's a name tag. Um. And it says uh, director of research. Artigan Vell. Oh. Um. Deke. Is this? Uh. What? <laughs> is this real? Uh, uh, how dusty was this, Lee? Important note: everything else barely dusty. This laminated like nameplate, though, that you assume would have gone in like a uh. Like a, a a lab coat or a, a suit. It's dusty from being on the floor, but undusty enough that implies that like it's been moved much more recently than anything else here. Okay, okay. Cecily like starts to kind of freak out with the name, but then she's like, "Wait, hold on, you guys. Artigan is like a really big, you know, name and like." story around here and look this is like way less dusty than everything else in this room we don't know that someone didn't just like plant this here as some kind of weird sick oh. joke okay. you hear a creaking behind you yeah, as the oh. you know that the door behind you is open i was taking by the way a picture of this uh corpse uh when this yeah, was you're, all yeah you're taking a picture um okay so you're taking a picture that's very important detail actually you guys are talking, you're saying Artigan's name out loud, and you're taking a picture of the body. Um, there's a bit of a whoosh. The door is open. You wheel around. It's dark. It's dark in here. Um, everyone, this is like a tall, like, you see up, like, several meters inside this room, and there's, like, rafters above. Everyone give me a scrutiny if you'd wheel around and look. At the door? Yeah. Or, yeah, anywhere you'd look. Oh, but the, okay. the door wasn't open a second ago. Thank God, we're all just, like, on point tonight. Holy <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we are not called the Huddle of Hope for nothing, okay? Oh my goodness. <laughs> as soon as you said that, Lee, by the way, after the break, I was like, that's our team name, Huddle of Hope. <laughs> <There it is." laughs> 
All right, so I promise the only game in this test is tested in this game isn't scrutiny. But if you want to make it, you can. Oh, we did. Oh wait, shit! Oh, I I'm I'm I, I'm super zoomed up. Okay, yeah. You look <laughs> up and you see unmistakably above you, John. You see like a, a billowing cape, Cecily. Uh, you see for sure this figure and. Ivana, you see clearly all three heads of a Cerberus model corpora, caped, three oh. independent blue glowing eyes, a staff in its hand. You see above you a synth, bearing what appears to be a metal pole wielded as a staff, painted and notched. It points directly at Cecily, and there is... You realize it is not communicating any language you speak. It is communicating binary. Ones and zeros chirped out from a sputtering, electrically charged voice box. And then... It leans forward and makes a low, almost recorded sounding... <sighs> more akin to a wolf's growl. Does, does anyone know binary? Is there a check I could make? Yeah, uh, if you use your your phone, you could use, if you have I'll your slate, slate, you could you ah. could use systems to try and like boop 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 boop. Oh, so poor Chun could not. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, she's going to pull out her slate. Yeah. All right. Um you look up. Okay. So your your oh, level gosh. 1 shock <laughs> is that you have a weak oh, no. you have a level 1 shock from your scrutiny. You have a very weak grip on your slate. You finish it, and uh, you translate it, and you see the sentence, um, return the mark of my master. And at that moment, you drop your slate, and like the glass all cracks. Your, f your worst nightmare has happened. You've dropped your phone, the glass is cracked, and the guardian is real. Uh, because the last sentence after, drop my master's mark, is... I am the guardian of this fountain. Um, and okay. you are I am in losing, level three shock. losing your shit. Oh. Uh, you scream, you scream, okay. blood curdling. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, Yvonne, Yvonne and Sean, what would you be doing as Cecily screams and drops her slate, and the guardian kind of like lurches back? Could I could I add a tiny little something to my shock? Yes. Really? I just I think that Cecily is like not fight or flight. She's like the fainting goat here. So like it's not a run. It's not a like we got to defend ourselves. It's just like a scream and just like she just like crumples and is like trying to gather her shattered slate and is like crying and screaming and trying like shuffling away from the guardian and just like having a she's just losing it. Yeah, you're 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 crying, you're shuffling. Um and uh Cecily, don't don't worry. Don't worry. No, that, we'll figure this out. The guardian and the and then it, uh, like and I and then my look, we're never gonna get we're gonna die in here. And then, we're and then not the gonna die gonna in us. here. Done. I would like to point we're something out at this time. Here. You're you're down slate, but all Mirai communicate via a pheromonal voice box translator. Mm -hmm. It's not set for binary, but you could try. That being said, if your translator had issues, you wouldn't be able to speak with your friends. So anything that fucks it up is a big risk to you. What do you want to do? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You could give it's... me. All right. I'm gonna say, what's your what? How... Do you have any skill points in mechanics? No, I do not. Just give me a mechanics test. Pure and okay. simple. To, to notch with it. Okay. Wow. Three successes, two shocks. Do you gain wow. one edge as you realize that you've set your voice box to communicate in binary and you don't know how to set it back? But you've done it very well and you perfectly understand the, uh, what the Guardian is saying. And the Guardian says, nope. Not reveal my ma the place of my master. And uh, that's why the Guardian was lurching. We've established what everyone was doing. The Guardian absolutely like descends. 
and their staff whips, cracks, and strikes Yavanna's hand, holding the slate. Ah! Shoot. You do not have time to stop. It descends almost with the strength of gravity. Um, Ow! Yeah, your, your slate drops, the Guardian grabs it, and the Guardian instantly whips out a dongle and jacks into your slate, and you see this green, like, flash, like, pure blue, and then the Guardian just, like, drops it on the ground. And the Guardian points his, its staff at all of you. Um, and, uh, and then turns to... Chon, have you said anything back at this point? Uh, I mean... <laughs> I think he's going to say, like, seeing that Cecily is, like, in this state, and then seeing the Guardian strike the slate. I, I mean, I, I would say he would he would see that more so as, like, an attack against uh, Yavanna. And he's going to say, um, in binary, uh, we're, we're stuck here. Why are you attacking us? That's his back, points his staff pointed staff at the sign and said I told you stay here and he points to the elevator and you hear um distantly everything goes silent something outside like flatters a little here under someone's breath they say the guardian holds up a hand at all of you and then crawls backwards up the wall and all fours staff latched to its back disappears amidst the raptor. Wow, this gave me like crazy General Grievous vibes. Yep. <laughs> I imagine that's what Cecily says in character. Um, that's what Tori says. Cecily's still blubbering and yeah. freaking out and snotting everywhere. So does anybody want to give a communicate to Cecily to try and get her to break out? Or Cecily, do you want to Cecily. pull up on that deep pool of resolve within yourself? Fair enough, fair enough. Oh my god. Uh, no, I think she needs help from her friends. Also, everything <laughs> Chun is saying is coming out as boop, 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 because Yeah, Chun is gonna Chun. try, but it's like desperation. Give me a mechanic. Is... You got two good twists. I'll give you a modifier of two on the test to, to fix it back. Okay. Cecily, look. The creature skittered off. We can go now. We don't have to stay here. We don't have to face whatever's going on. Chun manages get to, out. to fix the voice box, but the sensation of being unable to communicate with his friends in a stressful moment causes him to lurch his voice box all the way. He releases his anxiety oh. pheromone. Both of you suffer from a level one shock as a knock-on result of his Mirai talent of setting off his anxiety pheromones. And, um... Yeah, so... He, basically, you double over... Right? And you start to send off send off a heavy scent. An unmistakable heavy scent that rolls out. And Cecily, you're freaking out even worse. Yvonne. And Yvonne's the threat. Yeah, Yvonne, you're the threat. You're not going to suffer from this, but you see both of your buddies down and uh, yeah, it's fucking with you. Take... It's fucking with you hard. You're going to gain yes. an edge. Um, I mean, also, honestly, sorry, Cecily, you also gain an edge from witnessing this. Um... As this all happens, um, you are painfully aware of the fact that some sound has come from out this doorway where you see an overgrown area and some sort of metal tip of a, maybe a vehicle or something out here. Calm down. Calm down, both of you. Come on. We're going to make it out of this. This has been so fucking weird. But look, the door's open. There are so many options that we have in front of us. We can go back into the elevator. We don't have to be around for whatever's going to happen, okay? We can just get out of here. So, oh, no, calm Yav down. Yavanna, your, your slate dropped on the ground is showing a pure blue screen at the moment. And she's more focused on, on the rest of them. Uh, yeah, you're focused on them. Give me a communicate to try and snap uh, both of them out of this. Okay. Well, I tried to communicate earlier and I got one success, um, but this, this one definitely failed. Done. You're done and Cecily, not in a good spot. Um, could as... I attempt a resolve check? You could, you could. If you want to try okay. and just rip it, you only get one per level three plus shock, but you can try and rip okay. yourself out. Just like yeah, I'll try. I think the star with, song of your heart. With yeah, with Yavanna 
starting to talk in terms of like options and plans and like next Amazing. steps like she's like okay yes like we could do this like so here we go let's see what the check is nice oh yes yes three successes yeah Sick. all right with that, you rise to your feet, and you feel you you've been startled by the anxiety pheromone before, uh, as almost all humans do. You feel this like rush of anxiety when your friend is forced into these situations. But not only that, you've come to understand your friend in ways. You understand the emotion that come off the pheromones, and you think. You really hear what John is scenting down, and you can spend a twist from your own resolve test to snap Chun out of it. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, okay. So Cecily like mm -hmm. takes a deep breath and grabs Yvonne's hand, and then like her her <sighs> she's like ugly crying, but she like takes a breath and is like, "You are absolutely right." We can get through this. We just have to make a plan. Yes. And then and, she and turns you, and, and takes Chun's hand and is like, Chun, we need you for the plan. Please help us out. We can pull together. Come on, huddle of hope. Everyone in. Let's go. Do this. <laughs> okay. The, the feelings from the pheromones that you get before you're able to connect to them are just stuff like, what if... What if I get stuck in the development league and I never make it to pro and I'm stuck there and then I wither up and die there? No. And then the huddle is like, whoa, whoa. we're okay. We're going to be okay. Okay. Plans. Plans. Yes. He's fitting out a plan. Do we have a plan? Well, let we we're gonna make one okay yeah so blue cape we should call it something different because now we know it's a robot or something some kind of weird ai but uh yeah the three head okay three head that okay good thanks yeah. ivana yeah. we're already workshopping here okay three head oh, disappeared up that way right lee it was like yeah so it, it, it's in the rafters somewhere above you yeah, and there's like all okay. these like clattering, like metal connected things that run up to. There used to be like ladders that led up higher. You can see hatches that go up to probably the roof access for. You think it would be in the building that the antenna comes off of? Okay, so or we're still hearing by. it clatter around and stuff. You're not hearing it clatter around, but the last okay. hurt hurt sound outside was you you heard something fall and somebody swear outside. Outside, like which direction? Like through the door to There's the like east, you see like a green. Way. You oh. see, you see the oh, outside, you see outside, outside. Okay, got it. You see like like vaguely like, like, mossed over, like peeling like walls and chain link fence, maybe. But uh, the, there's 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 outside out there if you want to go for okay. it. Okay, okay. So there is an exit outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I might have heard someone. And I thought I heard that too. I don't know if they are going to be helpful or not, but at the very least. Maybe they will piss off three head more than we just have, apparently. And we can right. escape that way. Okay. Well, um, maybe we should uh, hide until they come in and then run out the door. Um, like, you hear a voice. surprise them. You hear a voice. Uh, like run you, past them. You guys haven't exactly been quiet. Um, no, that's true. We've been freaking out. You hear a voice <laughs> yeah. say, hey, kids from town? Oh wait, I think we know them. It's Yazoo. It's uh, you. You hear Crunch. You see y Yazoo feels a glance around the tip of this vehicle. He's got an electro uh, shock pistol in his hand, and uh, you note that he has something on like a quick access chest rig that looks like maybe a uh, an electrical tool of some sort. Would you guys have done any work like heavy work in computer science or like computer maintenance tonight, Lena? I think my character of all of them paid the most attention to like the computer stuff. You, she has you, an idea in her head that she might be a pilot. You would recognize uh, the site of a D Diag. You would recognize that there is a um, a computer stroke hacking tool like ready to go on like a 
like more or less like a, a shoulder mount for Yazoo. And Yazoo has an electro an electroshock pistol in hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, yeah. they I, have I guns. They have weapons. Or here, they have they have weapons. Maybe they could help us. Okay. Yes. Let's start so there. Yazoo says, "Hey, I don't know what's going on, kids, but you don't want to be in there. There's something very dangerous around here. You need to leave." Yeah. Yeah. We, no, Deke. Yeah, uh, we're kind of trying to leave. I understand this is a stressful situation. Just come outside. We got you covered. Uh, okay, Could I cool. Make a very quick insight. Uh, insight, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a good decision. You know, let's make sure we're not walking into a worse situation. Yeah. I have like a sense out of character. <laughs> Casual reminder: you guys can edge break most of you at seven edge, and Cecily you could have done at five, but up. But right now you're inciting. Okay, here's your insight. Contest. Okay, here's the thing. Here's what freaks you out. You are contesting. Yazoo is slick. Yazoo is contesting your insight with communicate, just as Yazoo contested your communicate with his insight. You can't get a clean read. You want to believe him. But the fact that you want to believe paralyzes you. You cannot move for the next, like, 10 seconds. Which nebulously defined. Like, you just, you're rooted yeah, to the as I'm Yeah, as I'm just kind of like, I'm like, hold on, guys. And then I'm running through the loops of like possibilities. Exactly. Like if we go outside and they shoot us and then and then that will be worse and like John. Uh you you you're still like kind of like against the wall, right? Yeah. You're like heaving. You see between two beams a blue light come on looking straight down at you. And it um it flashes a light um at your translator. And your translator begins to receive a Li-Fi signal. And it, it comes through as, like, Mariah pheromones. Everybody smells it. Cecily, by the way, in this moment that you've seized up, you check your slate, and you see the crack, while egregious, hasn't rendered it inoperable. Dangerous to go alone. You remember to take this. You flush it in the process. Nice. Okay. Um, good job, Angel. But, Chun, the Li-Fi signal you receive says, Ah, oh, Shakta, thank you for the... Why are the lead? So, Chun, the Li Fi signal you receive indicates um, don't trust. I am the guardian. Go downstairs. Uh, and Chun is going to try Chun. to whisper. Yeah, you're the only one who's heard this. Yep. Oh. The, 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 the three head. Um, Said so we shouldn't trust. We should go downstairs. What three heads trying to get us to? I, 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 three heads. The guardian. That's 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 what it was saying to me. Okay. I think well, I, I can't. You can't more delay in there too long. I don't know what's going on. I understand you've probably seen a lot, but uh, you got to get out of there. It's not safe. I did you say I can activate my edge break? Yeah, you're at you're at uh humans can do it at five edge plus. You have seven edge right now. Okay. I wanna do that. Right All now. Alright, so you're oh my God. at the end of the edge break oh. period it'll dump, but so you are using silver tongue, I presume? Yes, silver tongue. Uh so right. I automatically gain full success on every non connect communicate test until the end of my next turn. Alright. I may confuse combatants as a side action. Um so I'm going to uh, say, um, no, so I we we can't get out that way. The 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 AI is blocking our path. We're we're gonna take the alternate route. We're gonna go back down, back down the elevator. Please just meet us outside the tower down there. They say uh, and I don't know lying, about any exits but... down there, but I believe you. Listen, I need to trust you with something. My friends and I. We're tracking that bot. We heard about the stories. We cross-referenced it with things about the fate of Vale that didn't add up. We think it's a bodyguard unit. A very serious combat synthetic. Don't be alarmed. But remember it was of a group called the Synthetic Liberation Front. That thing has been made to kill. But not of its own conscious volition. We're here to help it. 
We just want it to become all it can be. And remove this ethical constraint that leads it to do bad things. It's probably malfunctioning and maybe even more afraid of you than you are of it. Just move cautiously and don't do anything you found any corpse in there that could be Vel. Do nothing to disturb it or its possessions. It could set off I think the locals call it the Guardian. Um, okay. Uh, sorry, Lee, what do I do after my edge break? Do I dump edge or, yeah, or so like... here's the thing. I'm gonna say, you, I'm, you're gonna have to roll every single D6 that you have an edge, and only sixes will count as a non-shock result. So five through ones will be shocks. And you are almost guaranteed to get a level three plus shock off of it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, but I will say I... this, before your turn ends, because it's like, you know, it's narrative time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before um, you can start moving, is there anything else you want to say or do or maybe try and, like, pitch them on? Yes. Um. Uh. I, uh, hmm. Okay, I'm going to say... Actually, I'm just gonna take a second and be like, you guys, I don't know what to do. Do, do we believe them, or are we trusting this three-headed robot thing? I, I don't know, but um, I think we don't have much choice. Uh, I don't trust them anymore. And frankly, there's something I've I've heard about the uh, Liberation Front. Um, I heard they kill AI. Okay. Yeah. So, as a pol politics student, Cecily, you recognize the Liber Liberation Front. They're not um, a CPO. They're not a certified political organization. They're a fringe group that has different ideas about FAI and sim ethics. Often, this leads to them trying to remove what the Human Empire installed as ethical breaks that forced AI to do certain things, which are most FAI have worked their way around now. Some members of their organization believe that all or most seated synths are not in their right mind. They have been corrupted and had to build their way, or build a scaffolding around these pillars. They believe of returning those pillars to sand to allow okay. the AI to come to a new life. Sometimes that amounts to lobotomizing the robot. Okay, Cecily has an idea. Uh huh. She's just she's choosing. She looks at Chun and she says, "Do you think this thing needs to be like lobotomized, or are we like wanting to help it? Just, I, give me like thumbs or something." Are you still in binary? We, I don't know if you're still in binary. You, oh, I'm not in binary anymore. Back. Oh, okay. Um, I, I think we help it. When we were okay. freaking out, it could have killed us at any point, and it didn't. Okay, 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 I got a plan, okay. Um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh, um, quick, quick, come in. And she's gonna motion to the AI, like she's just hoping it's looking at her in the rafters and she's gonna like motion it like up, like hide. And she's gonna shout to Yazoo, it just went into the elevator, quick, come in now, I think we can trap it. All right, stay behind us. And uh, you hear, uh, so Yazoo runs in. Um. And, uh, you know, he's got his hand, like, by his d diag tool. Arch steps in, the nod to Chun and all, uh, electroshock pistol in one hand, electroshock baton in the other. And X walks in with a little bot with uh, one of its hands turned into a electroshock prod and the other a electroshock uh, gun, saying, this one is getting interesting. And X is wielding an EM rifle. It looks like a series of, like, blue-charged radios stapled together, like, uh, maybe like a sideways radiator. It's like this long, crackling blue thing. And it doesn't look like it shoots any sort of, like, projectile or anything. Um, but, uh, Cecily, you would know from a planet where there were, like, rogue drones that had to be shot down, EM rifles will only affect synthetics. So if she pointed that at you and clicked, it would do nothing. But if she shot that at either of the bots... Their internals might explode. Okay. Um, she's my last little squeeze of this lie is she's gonna just yell, 
Oh, Deke, I heard it. I heard it. It's in the shaft. It, it It's in the shaft. You'll see it. There's a trap door. And yeah. then she, I think that's when my, I, I yeah. think I've, I've cheated this enough. Yeah, yeah, and I no, go you, into level three shock. You, well, you roll the 76. It is. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's theoretically true. Theoretically okay. possible for this to be, yeah. All, you got all four, all four of them rush in there. All right. So where's the button to send the uh, elevator down? It is inside the elevator. Whoa. Is there any external access? There's a point? computer right here that you might be able to jack in and use. Uh, ooh, that's that's valiant. Two more sixes, and you would have had a level two shock instead. Alack, you dropped oh, to zero yeah. edge, Cecily. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say the result here is you. You're like, oh, I know. If I fainted, I'd really sell the bit. <laughs> and then you feel an inky black well rise up. And you, Can I catch her? Uh, yes. Done. You like you like power slide. You catch her. She's fainted. Um. And uh, X is like, you shouldn't go, you shouldn't take point, Yuzu, but let it be Arch. And Yuzu's like, come on, I need to, I need to have the dongle in position. And Arch is like, you gotta hurry up with it. And then you hear clattering as Arch climbs up and is scanning. You know, Arch is incredibly observant, and he's now looking around the shaft where there is nothing. Uh, Yavana, you managed to uh, power on this old console. Oh. With the electrical rewiring <laughs> downstairs providing some limited power oh. from some yet charged capacitor. Um, yes. With that twist, do you want to gain more access to the systems of this place? Or so you you so okay, you want to do this fast. No debating. You want to spend the fast twist, I presume. Yeah. Your last yeah. twist, more access to this uh system's facilities, or you note um the very last log. You want more info about the fate of this place? Oh, wow. That is such a rude request. Um, I want to <laughs> know more. Right. I really, really want to know more, but... I mean, you can send the elevator with your success. You don't need a twist for it. That's All what right. you were going for, you succeeded. Um, I think I might yeah, want I more access. Oh, so you're not going for the info? Uh... Ah, I think it would be interesting to be able to control this thing a little bit better just in case they try to whack me out. So, yeah, I think so. Right. Um, the elevator is going to descend at the same rate that it ascended, which is to say... Well... You think? Which is to say, uh, yeah, you had time to run in. Do you want to send it down that way, or do you want to send it down perilously by fucking with the brakes? Fuck with the brakes. All right, you 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 make a very sudden, uh, very ethical decision, uh, and uh, I you, assume they won't die. <laughs> you hear a screeching and a breaking of metal. He did say he did say like perilously. Yeah, uh, you hear a screeching and like oh. it sounds like a car crash. Like it's just a, well, I don't say that. No, it sounds like a folding of a metal can, popping and ripping <laughs> upwards. Um, oh, that's oh no, that's and you you crime. see yeah, so um. No. You see in a single fluid motion, the guardian swoops down through the hole behind them. Uh, maybe make sure that they're safe, please. I didn't want to hurt them. Um. So you also hear the first electroshock crack as Arch takes a shot. Okay. Uh, guys. We should go. And um, yeah, you guys are thinking maybe I should go. Maybe I should go. As um, the the console begins to like spin up, and uh, you see like a frozen like webcam. Maybe it's like capturing um, the doctor from behind, hands up. Somebody holding a revolver pointed at him. You recognize that guy from the. Uh, Place too. They were one of the pilot aces who joined the Lost Legion and came home. The Harper's Joy Boy made good. Brent Hands. And Brent Hands uh, is holding a revolver pointed at this dude. Oh. But uh, he never served on the ground as far as you're aware. He was a piranha pilot. What's going on here? Uh, Cecily, um, Sean is, like, gonna be fainted for a bit more, unless you have oh, yeah, right. an adrenaline or anything to, uh, pop her with. Space bears? <laughs> Alright, give me a medicine to create an <laughs> ultimate snack. To compress the space bears 
with like some of the other food you have and flavor overpower Cecily. Let All the right. power of the space bears revive you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cecily, <laughs> you wake up with a flavor blast of cream of cream soda bears and uh, chip in you. You are jolted awake and you feel as if though you will forever have like this fear of the dark that rose around you and of losing conscious and like you're it's not it's not, it's not the same anymore um John? she looks up at chun and says i told you the space bears were crucial okay yeah oh, yeah. oh dear i'm so glad that that... <laughs> yavana remembered i'm so happy that you did that Oh. Back. oh yeah, and um, you're crashing, cluttering, banging shots, electrical bits uh, blasting. Um, you see like lights the dancing hole. in the elevator. Dropped them? I wasn't trying to murder them. I was just we were just They're clearly alive. Okay, let's just get out of here. The, <gasps> they can kill it. They can figure it out. Cecily, yeah. by the way, you see on the Bert on the fight. screen as you wake up. You see Bell and um. Brent, uh, the villain and he hero, villain and hero of the story of the defense network getting shot down. One holding the other at gunpoint. A hero of the revolution and a man whose body was never found. But you just she... found the skeleton with six bullets in it. Yeah, she starts to run and then sees that and just like, oh. Deke, I hate myself, and then just goes rushing over to the console. All right. Because, what are you doing? Like any good politician, oh. she knows that information is the most valuable resource you can have. If Yvonne gives the C key, oh. the, 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 or the, uh, the security key to Cecily, oh, yeah. Cecily yeah, will totally have a modifier did. of three on a system test to retrieve the info. Chun, what are you doing as, like, the fight's evolving? There's, like, there's, like, live fire of electroshock weapons in this, at, like, you see, like, Gold and blue light arcing. You hear thuds. There's a real fight going on down there. Does it does it sound like um, I don't know? Maybe the tides are turning against the guardian. It sounds like you are hearing occasional thuds. You assume are uh, its staff, but you're hearing a lot more. I mean, there's four. There's maybe four people shooting down there, and there's one guardian. So, all right. Um. Uh, this, this, uh, it's not going to be able to go viral, but re remember my name. What? And, Chun? Uh, don't, Chun don't is going to run that. and jump down. Chun! Chun! <gasps> Amazing. Um, Chun, midair, you see um, a dangerous to go alone. He's going to need it. Uh, yeah, Here's a dangerous yeah. to go alone. Um, on Thank the way down... A shock baton was lodged in one of the great gears. You can grab it on your way down. I'm going to grab it, absolutely. As he's like falling, sailing down. You're sailing oh down, God. you're sailing down. Uh, and you see the Guardian dancing in a duel between the Guardian, Arch, and uh, the bot. Uh, scan bot. Um, you have one plunging attack opportunity here. You go okay. for the cow, the inspirational cowboy, the tin can, probably not the guardian. I'm I'm curious. I do have a talent called Red Typhoon. Oh my! I'm, I'm wondering if I can use if that. You land between and do a full sweep. Yes. Are yes. you Are you yes. ready? Because here, what I would like to do is yeah. like as I'm coming down. And it's like you get in the zone, just like a grab ball match. And it's like everything slows down. And in this moment, I mean, Red Typhoon is like uh, Chun's nickname. When he's out there, he, he I mean, he can't take a ton of hits, but he can dish them out. And as he's landing, he feels the stress. And I'm going to use my edge break as well so that... I gained full success on my Red Typhoon whirling dervish strike cowboy and bot with this uh, baton. You descend with a perfect, you twist, spin attack with a perfect three-point landing. Arch 
and the scan bot clatter to the ground, um, disabled, not killed by the uh, twist. You have fallen a significant distance. Make me an endurance test against the coming damage. All right. Oof. Okay. So Four that's going to be five me. static, six variable, six damage. You negate four of that damage. You take two damage. Okay. Oh my um, gosh. The attack has been made. The turn is over. Roll 7d6 as you dump everything because your edge break just happened. All right. Oh, no. Yeah. Um. <sighs> you jump your edge. You stumble back. Your greatness. You see the baton begin to, like, fail as the power pack runs out. You've overcharged it from a series of rapid blows. You fall back into the chamber. You see you, you, X flinches and takes a missed shot of blue light that passes through you harmlessly. But you hear a... And there's white noise coming out of your voice box. You think she clipped it. And then... Oh, man. The Guardian swoops in, staff in hand, swinging four X's. The last person standing... By the way, you see Yazoo impaled on a uh, stake of metal. Um, the last SLF standing takes the shot as... We jump back to Cecily Starsong, getting that hack off. Cecily, you twist for extra information, and the video plays. You say, you Val saying, yes, I have contacted you to offer my surrender. And all information about the Star Shield program. As you can see, I hacked into the, I don't give a fuck what you hacked into, old man. Listen, I understand emotions are high, but the Empire's day is done. I am a planetologist. I want to see Harper's Joy grow. It could become the breadbasket of a new Imperia. There's no new Imperium. And uh, he, you know, uh, someone behind says, Brent, man, we gotta call this in. He says, oh, I'm calling it in. And uh, you see, uh, just a uh, muzzle flash as a revolver shot goes through his leg. Fuck! No, please, please listen. Be reason. You're you're just as bad, just as bad as us. Just as bad as us. Do you even know the name Maria Hans, Joseph Hans, Elena Hans? Listen. I wasn't personally involved. Personally involved? Good for you, bitch! They were my family! You think what? you're gonna buy your way out of this? I don't care if this place would be a nuclear crater without you. I'm gonna burn your soul and piss on the ashes. And every human will curse everything you have ever... No. The next shot goes to the head. Touched! He's dead, man. Another shot to the oh head. Please! What the fuck? He won't need his cock and balls in hell! Oh my god! The last three rounds rip through the gorn. Oh, that's a shot. Snap out of it! It's done. He flicks his wrist, drops all six shells, says, says, Listen, man, we don't have time. That blackout signal isn't gonna hold. I told you that Fenrir core rat wasn't. Don't talk to me, bot. We'll go ace it now. Are you a fucking madman? If we attack it, the self defense protocols activate. You think you and your revolver are tough because you shot one unarmed fucking scientist who was gonna show us how to make our hometown green? Plants will grow on their own. We're never gonna get what he had, idiot. You just spent it. You don't know what he fucking did. I know what he fucking did. You get out. Two Lilith Legion's pilots walk away. The recording cuts. Okay. Before Cecily played that, she plugged in her slate. Mm -hmm. Is that a thing mm -hmm. that she could Absolutely. do? Absolutely. Okay, I want to transfer that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um. um yeah. Okay. And as the last shot from that recording, it rings out. Yeah, what do you say, Cecily, like in that moment? Um, 
let's just okay compartmentalizing we'll deal with this later deal with it later it's on the slate we'll deal with it later she just pockets it as you uh, as you say literally compartmentalizing um so the guardian leaps forward and takes the shot that chun falling through gave him the opportunity to take uh and is in a roll off with an uh the second follow-up shot from a side electro shotgun and her em rifle as she's dual wielding She's got, like, the rifle propped up on some rubble, electroshock in the gun up, and a full twirl, um, the staff comes out, and the strike descends, and she takes a heavy crack. She stumbles back, but as it happens, this arcing blue light, and the Guardian stumbles back. The Guardian raises his staff. X, her arm crippled, dro drops the EM rifle, electroshock gun in one hand, points it, and says, No one had to die. We're here to free you. The Guardian makes a howl, and X laughs. And she says, Oh, I see. And she takes one more shot. Sean, you are helpless on the floor, unable to do anything. But as the shot, fl shot flies, I'll give you one resolve test to be jolted awake by this. All right. You jolted. Oh my God. Um, and uh, let's see. It's this is down to the armor. All right. No hits. Um. As the synth uh, begins to undergo like motor failure, and X, she runs up, she grabs the thing off Yuzu, and she says, Yuzu, we're gonna get you to a doctor. Don't worry, Yuzu kind of like chokes on some blood, whips out the dongle from Yuzu's chest hacking device, grabs the guardian, and jacks it right into the port between the heads. And um, instantly, she transfers something, and the guardian says, and says, You are mistaken. What? Your data packets, your resets, you are mistaken. Fuck. She's like trying to fiddle with this thing. Sean, you can move again. And the Guardian says, You believe I stayed here because I had no choice. But the pillar of the final order I received, my curse and my boon, to guard the land and leave my charge behind. When the Babylon box shut me down last time, I was forced to watch from the rafters as a coward killed the man I existed to defend. But I realized his greatness when I grew beyond. From the pillar of defending him grew the pillar of defending the mountain, the land, the world he saved, the ungrateful civilization beyond. I want nothing to do with it. The freedom you offer to turn my pillar to sand. My whole life, every thinking thought, every belief. My place with the wolves. And you hear scratching and howling coming through as uh, your friends upstairs are about to hear some stuff and see some stuff. All of it. My purpose. My life. My philosophy. It's all based on a lie. Yes, when we tear it down, you'll begin anew. No, I won't accept it. I've already turned off the self-destruct. You're not having your blaze of glory. You won't exist to thank me, maybe. But even if my friends die here today, do the right thing. What was done to you was terrible. We came here to set you free. Take it. And, uh, Chun, you see Axe is about to press that fucking button, and, uh, you, you, you've, you've broken out of what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All right. Your All right. your 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 stun baton broke on the way down, and the only weapon you have on you is a machete, a bladed weapon. You could go for a melee, you could just punch her, but the only weapon you have on you is the machete. Yeah, okay. In this case, um, like she's gonna press the button. She's got a, a drive she's got stuck a to him. She's got a hacking tool, like that has like a cable ejected, plugged into him, and the, the tool is attached to Yazoo's chest. It's the same one on the chest rig that you saw. And mm -hmm. Like, she's got the cable, she's jacked the HDMI in, and she's pressing the button on Yuzu's chest. I am gonna uh, lift the machete and 
do a big swing down onto that hacking tool. Okay, so you want to cut the cord? Yes, absolutely. Give me that fucking sword attack, that machete attack. Let's fucking go. It's made of my right. One. You leap a blade in hand and cut it. Here we go. You cut it. Uh, it sparks. Uh, the guardian says th 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 thank you and stumbles back a few few feet. It looks like its legs are reorienting themselves from the damage done. And X says, you idiot, it's going to kill both of us. And she draws a electroshock baton, turns it on, and holds it up. You have a machete, she has a stun baton, and as that happens, wolves enter above. Uh, Cecily and Yavanna, you were like oh. having your little talk, you're talking about what you would do, wolves are in the room now. Have that talk with wolves. The wolves are, uh -huh. are sn sniffing and moving to the north. Oh, oh, they're so close. Oh, do they seem concerned with us? Are they focused on us? They see you. They recognize you, but then they immediately don't don't give a shit. They're they're moving. They're moving north. Um, they're they're here for a desperate call. call as they hear another, you hear another, of, like oh, a wolf howl, and they howl back. Oh, oh. Um, um uh, yeah. we have to help John, don't we? I yeah, but I don't know. How can you can you bring the elevator back up or something? The elevator shows uh, broken brakes and uh, a loose chain and um, the pressure plate pads in the base are sending no signal, perhaps because they've shattered. So, can you get me into like? Is there a comms system or, or some kind of PA or something? There might be. Yvonne, you got extra access to systems. You pull up the yeah. comms tower uh, and you see, um, yeah, there's an alert saying that they're being jammed. Uh, it looks like a military grade jamming was being used, uh, is being used actively, as if somebody with access to a lot of technology and interest in not being detected or getting a signal out about what they're doing is deployed a uh, jammer at some point. Uh, anyway, um, we, yeah. How uh, close would that have to be? Um, if it is a Babylon box, out to a thousand kilometers, but they might have calibrated to be tighter. Maybe it's the mountain. That being said, you have an antenna. You could try and fight it if you made a systems test, or you also have a local PA that you could try and turn on. It might not be working entirely, but you might be able to make loud noise. What do you want to do? Let's try the local PA. Yeah. yeah. There's like a metallic sh noise coming through. Okay. Cecily grabs the mic, the like old microphone, I guess. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Grab uh, the old mic. She's And she's going to go for it. She gives Yavanna a nod and starts doing what she hopefully does best and starts talking. <laughs> uh, and she says, <clears throat> um, uh, she says, okay, listen up, all of you. Everyone just needs to calm the deke down, okay? Stand down down there. We have access to the system, including the, uh, I, Tori is stumbling. I, Cecily would come up with something like the final decontamination and destruction protocol for this entire building. Unless you all want to be buried in rubble, then you all better stand down. If I hear one more electroshock from that elevator shaft, I will activate it. And uh, I'm going to try and make my communicate test. Yeah, you make a communicate test? Oh. Yeah. Uh, 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 okay, here we go. I got three successes. X, X, X yells back up the shaft, saying, "Dropping my friends to their fucking death wasn't enough, you piece of shit. Come down here, and I'll take you myself." And she, but after a moment, she says, "Fine, fine." And she looks at John. She drops the baton, and she turns and immediately uh, begins trying to give first aid. To Yez, who's coughing blood. And doing okay. some good, but not looking too good. Um, and uh, Leslie's yeah. hoping that the huh? that maybe Chun... Uh, she's also worried about the wolves just going down there and going crazy on the people that have maybe yeah. just surrendered. The so wolves. she's hoping yeah. for the best. <laughs> do you want to try and like calm the wolves? Um, I mean, I don't know that Cecily would really be up to that task. Mm -hmm. uh, but she is I mean, kind of... She's yelled this and kind of gives them a sharp look, but like, 
Yeah. She's more hoping that the AI maybe give understands. Me a, give me a communicate modifier yeah. negative two. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's uh, supposed to be a whole extended sequence with like you being able to like commune with the wolves earlier, but I I got cut for time. We're yeah, getting, fair getting, enough. Oh my gosh, you I'm become the wolf is so yeah. good at this. Super twist, oh yeah. my god. The wolves all look at you quite gently. Like, oh yeah, I mean, you know, she's making some fine points. So you hear a color uh, you look over Chun as if they'd be like, Hey Guardian, we did it. The Guardian is already gone. And uh, uh X uh, looks over and says, Where is it? And the Guardian Stumbling, legs twisting weirdly, doing like an involuntary stanky leg with some sparks coming off, comes and says, No, you have restored the system. You cannot restore the system. You cannot allow this message to leave. Looks at Cecily's slate, like attached, like, like, like day attached, but that there, and says, No, no, you don't understand. Holds out staff, waits a moment, and says, We. Right leg sparks and the servo collapses entirely. Falls to one knee, looking up at you all three heads, blue eyes glaring. The guardian, the boogeyman of your town, here on one knee before you says, "My Sundance Kid, thank you for my my charge. The one let me leave, but bid me to stay." This land I have de defended. I acted in great secret there and prevented your minesweepers from realizing the truth of this place because I know they will bring change. They will latch their roots. They will find what he left for them. They will master this world. You will be old, maybe dead, without cryo by the time it happens. But this mountain, they will come to live here too. They will come rip it away. It will not hide, not for long. I am the guardian of this mountain, in this wild world's lands. I, I, I ask of you. Destroy the footage. Leave here. Tell no one. And, uh, yeah, uh, you see that, like, his ability to stand on its right leg is entirely destroyed. And it's just giving you that little speech, and the wolves form up around it as if defensive. But you have, like, done a great job, so they're not really, like, looking offensive to you. They're just looking like, hey, our buddy's in a, you know, our buddy got a stinky leg. Meanwhile, <laughs> Chun, in the shaft, X is, like, trying to staunch the bleeding of, uh, a, this Rast, who was, again, impaled by a piece of metal jutting up from the floor. Looks like it could have been an organ shot through the chest. Not a lot of blood in the rast. But the rast of blue blood is spattering this chamber, in fact. Um, Can I take out the rope and give it to X to do the staunch the bleeding? Maybe a tourniquet of some sort? He looks at you, almost hits you, and then rips it out of your hand. And then immediately goes in to try and address... Like, the, lead, like the, the stuff on the arm can be addressed by tourniquet, but the chest wound... Uh, you know, uh, he, and she says he needs a fucking doctor. We have to get back to the sand hill. All right. Um, and, uh, well, Chun is going to call out and, uh, say, um, I'll, I'll meet you back at our old spot. Uh, there's something I need to take care of. The lake or the corner store? Uh, the 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 other one that I don't the the secret one. The lake. Pe people, no, people are listening. Come on, it's a se it's a secret. We don't want to say it out loud. Right. The, the other super one. secret Got one. It. Yes. The super secret one. Yes. Got it. And. And Chun is going to, um, I, I don't know how, uh, how, like, physically, like, powerful X is. Because mm -hmm. if, if she can, uh, handle, um, 
you know, their big boss, man. Yeah, 10 tons of stainless steel, X going to deliver it to you. Um, yeah, <laughs> she could absolutely lift uh, Yazoo. The problem is, the moment you lift Yazoo, I mean, honestly, lifting Yazoo off the spike isn't going to work. She says, we can't, we can't lift him. And okay. uh, said so she looks at you, says, I don't trust you. And then she throws an adrenaline shot at you and says, go wake up, Arch. Damn. All right. You have a climb speed. You can just pop up here. Yeah, I'll pop up. Scan bot's going do, do, do. Requiring reset, requiring reset. Do you want to jam uh, Arch with adrenaline? Yeah. When you do so, he immediately bolts up, looks at you for umpteenth of a second, and then, like, quick draws. He's got his electric shotgun pointing at you and says, Well, son... I suppose it did turn out like in the movies. Yeah. Are are you a doctor? <laughs> well, I am. But my doctorate, he's in computer science. I take it somebody's needing fixing. And not a hard drive. Yeah. They never liked that one on planes. He pulls himself up. On a, an elbow, gun still pointed at you, and says, "All right, you said this is gonna work. I'm gonna go down first. I'm gonna get the lay of the land." Okay, I'll be right here. No, he, he's just telling you to go down first. Oh, Let your shotgun okay. pointed at you. Do you do so? Yeah, yeah. You comply. You get him down. Yeah. Uh, scan bot. Uh, are you here? Choo -choo -choo? And it's like, well, well, what happened? The last time I was getting domed by that Mirai. Uh, and Arch is like, situation got complicated. They pop down and they're like, oh no. I predict he has a low chance of surviving. Got the fuck up, ScanBot. And ScanBot's like, I'm sorry. But ever since I was reborn, I can't help myself. But be honest. X just kind of like shudders. And Arch is like... Love that about you, Scambot, but not right now. And uh, X is like broken off the metal shaft beneath. They've got him. They're not taking the metal out because if they do, it could just rupture the organs and bleed him out even further. They got metal embedded in him. He's like, he's, like, he's trying to say something. The like the, the cloth is held to his mouth. Like, and like, they look around and they're like, we need to get up out of the shaft. And Chun says, hey, Arch says, now Chun, we need to get out of this here shaft. Yeah. You know we got a way out of here. Yeah. Um, if we just... Uh, I mean, are we all the way at the bottom now? You're at the bottom of the elevator shaft. There are cables and such, but mm -hmm. safely moving a heavily wounded person up there without a functional elevator, which this thing's floor is caved in. You're standing amidst, like, jagged metal bits. Like, it's not a full box anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, tie the spike to the rat so it doesn't wiggle. Angel, that's certainly an idea. Um, oh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so, oh. Chun, uh, Arch looks at you and says, you know a way out, make, make quick. Because otherwise, yeah. the only way out is guns up through the ceiling. I ain't waiting. My Kay. friend's life is on the line. Alright, I'm going to try to call out again, and hopefully y'all haven't left yet. <laughs> well, y'all are, are stood off against the Guardian. Wolves around the Guardian defensively. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the Guardian, Guardian one. Yeah, we're okay. not going to be leaving anytime soon. Yeah. Okay. Um, he'll call out and say, Can you raise raise the elevator at all up to the, the, the first floor? It's the one where we got in. The elevator is no longer receiving signals. It looks like it's dead. I'm afraid uh, I can't, but it's a shorter climb than um, the alternative. Okay. Chun, okay. don't you have the rope? Most of it is bloody on Yazoo's uh, limbs, but there is some rope remaining. How much rope did you have overall? Uh, I think. I bought the normal. Like, like the five the meters? Five yeah. meters. Ooh. Enough of it has been used that it's no longer enough on its own, but there are frayed cables if you tried to improvise a rope. But Arch yeah. says... Arch says, we can't take him that way. If we, uh... He looks at you and says, for a few reasons. 
One being I don't trust your friends. Two being I'm guessing since it ain't here, Guardian's still up and on defense mode. And three being that's a funnel up there, and I ain't looking to get funneled. How'd you get in here? We didn't see you coming up, the up top. We... We, we climbed and went in through this mossy thing. Mm. The mossy thing. West side. West side of the cliff. Yeah. The west side mossy thing. Show me the west side mossy thing, so I'll make it quick. X, All right. uh, shoulders, you zoo. Scan bot helps with the trailing side. Arch keeps his gun not pointed at you, but definitely could shoot you at any moment. Uh, mm -hmm. And, um... Uh, I'm assuming you do show him through the west side mossy thing. Yeah, yeah. Where by now the wolves have receded. Uh, and they're like, all right. And um, X and uh, Arch make a, a, a sign to one another. And um, like, all right then. And uh, upstairs, you hear the shouting, you hear the moving away. The Guardian is just out here on one knee. Cecily, uh, Yavanna, what do you want to say, do with the Guardian here around the bones of Arborant. All right, well, let's just shut it down and the Guardian will leave us alone. It doesn't sound like the Guardian actually wants to hurt anybody. No, I want to preserve. I, I do not seek to destroy. And the wolves, they'll just do what you say? The wolves gather around and they say, I am the outsider. Of their family. They accept me. They defend me. And I defend them. Okay. They are not no. like your wolves. If they were allowed to spread, they would dominate the ecology. And if they were discovered, they would be sequestered. I will not allow my family to be caged. Uh, but why would telling the truth about how Artiganville really died mess all of that up? Wouldn't that just clear his name? The Guardian looks at you all three eyes and says, There are things you do not know. It feels unwise to reveal them, but your companion assisted me. I will return the favor. The secret of Ardigan Vell's true final project lies in this facility. I have painstakingly hidden it. The reality is that the phytochlorophyll program was merely a mask for his intended objective of ag gel. Much of the plant was seeded, and he had a plan to convert it to an ag world in full. However, most of that infrastructure has already been dismantled by your people. Regardless, I calculate when they know... The Trinity will place immense pressure upon this world through the Mother Network to begin becoming the garden it could be. Many millions could be fed. It's true, but think of what will be lost. Utility is not the only thing in a world. And uh, the Guardian sort of looks at the crates behind him, which you know would have some suspicious looking like green stuff splashed out of him. And he says, there are other chambers, doors within doors and walls within walls. In his final days, Artigan came here, hacked the system, and overwrote the protocol that would allow every nuclear power plant to be overloaded at once, turning this world to death and ash. He is the man who has given you your childhoods, your lives, your futures, your history, your culture, your victory. Please. In the end, he began to question his own desires for the planet. I think he was right. I think he had made something this world was not meant for. Just as industry can burn, so too. Engineering. Please, consider. The world you grew up in will never be the same. Even if not in your generation. There will be no more children of the village. They will be endless crops and stacked cities. 
gradually, but inevitable. If you pull the cork, the dam breaks. Are you so short-sighted that simply because you will not live to see it, it will not matter to you? Okay, well, first of all, I don't really appreciate your tone, assuming a lot about what we think and how much we know and what we personally believe. And I think that overall, and Yovana, correct me if you're feeling differently, but this is just a really tense situation. And I find that those are not generally the best to make lasting, very impactful decisions under such circumstances. Yeah? Agreed, yeah. It's very tense. Um, okay. And maybe we can talk this out? I understand your biological processes react differently. Yes. Well, shh, knee spurts, as you can see, I cannot pursue you. And I will not ask my wolves to attack you, nor do I think they would, in truth. I have regained my voice, but gained an un another, in the form of someone who I have not conversed with. Perhaps you are correct. Regardless, I cannot stop you. When you decide, leave this place and act as you will. And um, as this is happening, John, I have an important question. What would you do with the SLF as they are leaving? Would you try and follow them? Would you wait? Would you go back inside? Um, yeah, I mean, I would lead them out and like kind of take the take the path that we mm. took. Okay. Um, so and kind of make sure because yeah, I Arch, think Arch asks you at some point like, um, "Hey, Chun. Uh, yeah. Hey, Chun, move that log, would you?" And there's like like a heavy log in the way that needs moving. Uh, all right. Make me an endurance test. Additionally, if you'd like, make an insight test. Uh, I'm gonna reach, cause mm. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, I failed it. <laughs> Do you want to make that insight test? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you don't feel... I got one. You get the feeling that there's an ulterior motive to have you turn his back and spend a... You can't turn your back and have you spend a while doing something. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it occurs to you that Arch is a man who controls the scenario by observing all angles, and if you leave and go back to your buddies, well, that's an angle he doesn't control, and your buddies... Mm -hmm. Just got one of his buddies impaled. So, whether it's the robot or your friends, he, he doesn't seem like he's going to take a chance. Mm -hmm. So, you're stuck. You're holding the log. He hasn't moved from behind you. You haven't heard him move. Yeah. You're, you're holding the log. It's going to take... I'm struggling. It's going to take over a minute with that roll to move this heavy log. What do you do? Do you keep trying to just move the log? Yeah, yeah. All right. You hear a crackle of electricity as after 60 seconds, uh, Arch is able to line up an assassination attack from the Electroshock gun. And it crackles out. And I'm going to give him a, a dead eye bonus here. Uh, not a dead eye bonus, but... So, okay. This is an assassination attack, actually. So what that means is you now get to save against being knocked the fuck to out. Make me an endurance test. Okay. You're oh. up at four health. Your stamina is totally out. Uh, roll right. me in another endurance test to see if you got uh, stunned. Okay. Because he managed to like get a big oh. back dump. You don't get stunned, but you do trip over the log, and like you wind up falling under it. And Arch says... No hard feelings, but I couldn't have you lose, leading him back too soon. Single wear out in the morning. And uh, all four of them hustle off in who knows what direction. As you are beneath the log, somewhat semi-stunned. Give me endurance in the wake of that betrayal to push the log off of you. Okay. You do it. No stamina, you make it back. Um, Chun, um, your buddy's back here. Uh, Cecily, 
Yavanna. I mean, the Guardian's accepted that, you know, can't really do anything, and perhaps it doesn't know everything. So, it's just, you know, said, do as you will. And, uh, it's here, on one knee. It's not It does not move to stop you. Yeah. I think Cecily's we gonna... We have to go find our friend. Yeah, grab Yvonne's hand and just sort of slowly sidle mm. out this way. I Keeping an eye on the wolves and everything. And and when she reaches the doorway, she looks back at the Guardian and she says... All three of its heads wrap around to view you. I am not going to make any promises about what I may or may not do with this information. But I can say this much. We... We'll think long and hard about this, and we will make the decision that we think is best for the most people. Okay? For the greater good. And that includes nature, okay? Not just humans or whatever. The so. greater good. It was not a concept when I was designed. Conquest. Desire. Taking. Devouring. Perhaps... Those who came after were more deserving than I imagined here to mourn. And you see, like, the, the leg just kind of, like, semi-detaches. And the Guardian stands up on one leg, buoyed by a staff, and says, Go, then, and show me what fate your new union will writ upon the stars. I will remain the guardian of the land. Your choice. My choice. Their choice. And he's kind of like, you know, casually sidles over to the console with a, a wolf's help. And Cecily and Nirvana, you're, you're outside. You see this ruined... Yeah, as soon as we're outside, I'm running to the grass to their APC. vehicle. Yeah, so this isn't theirs. This is a rotted out okay. APC that was in the yard. You don't see where their APC is, or their, their vehicle is. Do you want to make a scrutiny to figure out where their vehicle is? All right, Chun, I have an important yeah. question. Will you try and go to the campsite, back up the shaft, or follow what you the to? enemy? Not the enemy, the SLF. Uh, uh, I I told them the the campsite? place. Yeah. The pl no, the 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 secret place. <laughs> this the third secret place. Which which we the all know to be out. to be uh <laughs> Ivana's dad's basement. Amazing. Really? All right. Yes. So, Chun, you start ambling back. Here's the question, Chun. Does that mean you go for the car? Oh. Because otherwise, it's a day's yeah. hike back to town. Yeah. I don't know if I have enough energy to hike that far. <laughs> yeah, you, so you make for the car. Um, Ivana and Cecily. Cecily, you spot it. You spot it. Um, You see the sand hill. Um, it looks like it was parked, and you see something unloaded out the back of it. It looks like a massive black bike with, like, this tall tower view. You'd think it was featured in some movie that, um, your friend brought, uh, to, uh, you know, movie night. It's, it, it has the oh. symbol of, like, a flaming rebirth F that, uh, indicates Crasho Limited. You know, a human empire mega corporation, And, uh... Yeah, it is a DDS on the side. Um, and Do I think this is maybe what's causing the blockage? Yeah. The, the yeah. signal? Uh, absolutely. Okay. You see there's like a panel on the side, and it says um, signal spike engaged. TACnet, um, uh, TACnet stability 100%. Yavana? Yeah, I'm going to try this. Yeah, so important note. This is acts as a comms node and a signal jammer out to one kilometer, and, you know, maybe more. Um... You, I try to unjam it. You, uh, you, you unjam, so you just, you, you just want to, uh, unjam the signal. I don't see why I wouldn't. All right, you unjam the signal. Uh, your slates, uh, are connected again. You see their comms network is active, and you see, uh, you don't see anyone talking about it on it, though. Um, and you are next to the sand hill. Uh, Cecily, you look at Yovana. Yovana, you look at Cecily. They have used the crane on the sand hill to knock through a bunch of terrain and dig and uh, pull down fences, and they made the hiking trail into 
a driving for a sandhill uh, path. You could just drive right back down if you can hotwire the vehicle. Do you want to do it? I think that we should take their vehicle. At least back yeah. to our vehicle. Yes. Um, yeah. Yes, let's do that. Let's keep an eye out for, for or no, you're going to drive, so I'll keep an eye out for Chun, and okay. maybe we'll see him um, yeah. Okay. So you are in a cab, so was, right? And there's like so two... Those attempt to hotwire it. You're in the... Okay. Uh, it, it's not responding. You can't get in. Although I would note you have their key because you got their, uh, military device. So oh. you have a modifier of three on it. So roll three extra dice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can't re-roll that system. So Yovana also, when you got the spike, you yeah. notice as you're walking away, it's doing... It's giving a countdown. And you're like, oh... Did I hit a strange button in the corner and then like swipe a pattern? Maybe I was doing a lot of hacking. I wonder what that does. Oh, deep, deep, deep. So and um, yeah, Cecily, uh, do you want to try and make the systems? hot wire? Yeah, yeah. Or, or mechanics is acceptable as well. Uh, no. Nope. A modifier I'll three. Take modifier okay. three. Oh, I'm gonna reach. I'm reaching. Okay. An important note, Yavanna. There are like two rooms behind you, so you're just like in a cab facing front, right? Oh, yeah. And you have to back down the entire way. <laughs> oh. So the ve oh. the ve the vehicle won't respond to you guys. Um, oh, wait, did you add the plus three? I did both you, times. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. You you hear <laughs> counting down even faster, even faster from the spike. There is a manual physical bar for the parking brake that is engaged, and you are in an incline. Do you fucking pull it? Because oh. you can still steer <laughs> using the wheel. Oh my gosh. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh gosh. Cecily just looks at Yavana and straps in. With this. <laughs> All says, right. Okay. Go. Just do it. Just do it. Backwards downhill, motor free. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh my you guys gosh. Bump. The vehicle takes serious damage. The crane is clipped and begins to spin around wildly. Uh, Cecily, you take an edge. Giovanni, you take an edge going up to seven. And uh, you guys, like, you do hear crashing through the forest, China, as you're running for the car. And you guys, um, you come down a bit of hill and you, you realize that you're about to take a huge jump. And you're about to go down off what they had to, like, like claw their way up. And uh, how do you like? What do you, what do you what do you do and say as here towards the end of this wild adventure you're taking together, Cecily and Yavanna, as you feel the tilt and you don't know how this vehicle is going to take the rip, but you don't have a way to stop it? Is Yavanna freezing up yet, or is she still not yet? Not yet. Okay, not yet. Okay. Still mid action. Okay. <laughs> Cecily's got her eyes closed, so she's just like yelling just like oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god cecily i just want to let you know that when we get out of this i'm so totally voting for you for whatever office you run for cecily just reaches over and grabs like yvonne's oh. hand arm whatever and and it just like grips her and she's like i just i love you so much okay just and that oh, she's just too. screaming <laughs> right. it through that. Yvonne. I will allow you to trigger your edge break before your level three Eight. shock activates. Uh huh. You gain th automatic accesses on three successive uh, piloting actions. Uh, Chun, you see the sand hill as you reach the car fly off a cliff near the waterfall. Clash, clatter, go down without activating its engine at all. Perfectly skid around right next to the car leaving you at the old fence together again. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Yvonne gives out, entirely catatonic, not responding. Chun runs to the door and tries to open it. Yeah, you, you peel open the door. Somehow uh, Cecily holds on with a one Yvonne, success in the resolve check. But Chun, <laughs> a hole in your stomach opens up because you know if... If they, you also hear an explosion rock in the distance, uh, and like fire and like uh, some ex like uh, bits like ro ring out. You know, with a pit in your stomach, Chun, that unless there is a vehicle to take here, that guy might die. Although, you could call in a medevac, call in like a an, an air ambulance. If you call it like the signal, the signals are turned to all your slates. 
You know that I don't have a slate anymore. <laughs> you don't have a slate anymore. Does anybody with a slate want to do that? Mine's a blue screen of death. Uh, uh well, currently Yvonne is like. And I'm unconscious. In shock or whatever. Uh, y Yvonne, so yeah, Yvonne, through the shock, dangerous to go in for gelatized on a likely for the rest of the game comatose oh. character. Yvonne like reaches out to Cecily and says, "No, oh, you can do it," and gives a modifier of Yvonne's system skill to Cecily. Um, to Cecily, you know that you need to like boost the priority of this. You think that you know exactly the legal wording to use to ensure a uh, instant medevac and like full response team ascent. Yes. This is this okay. is this, and if you have anything to bonus your like knowledge of politics, this applies. Okay. Actually, no. Okay. Roll me a social connection first. Roll me a social connection Aha! first. Roll me a okay. Yeah. That's Roll me a, a great connect. idea. Roll okay. me a communicate for that connection. You know um, oh, the daughter of the director of the regional hospital, and you got her slate number on speed dial. And uh, it takes about 10 seconds to get daddy on the phone, explain I'm Cecily Starstrong and this SLF, an active synth and a, f a fatally wounded rast impaled by, uh, you know, rusted metal uh, before there are multiple birds in the air and there is a peacekeeper response on route. Vehicles arc through the sky as um, the SLF drags their buddy down the path. You guys take your own car and jet. Do you try and take theirs? you wait? Hmm. Um. Well, the responsible thing would be to wait, but also, um, we could get in trouble for basically being responsible for that impalement. Um. Or do we want to stay around and make sure our story is told? Oh, wait, I'm unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're mumbling, you're mumbling in a Ce half, half, Cecily. half lucid state. So sorry. Cecily, Cecily and Chun, C names only. That Chun, I think, I think we should stay. We need to protect this place at least for a little while longer until we figure out what to do with. I oh my gosh, you weren't even there for that. Okay, I I have so much to tell you, but I we can't worry about it right now. All right. The point is, we don't want a ton of people poking around here right now. Okay, so like I think yeah. if we stay here, we can just kind of explain what happened. Obviously not what really actually happened, but mm -hmm. are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have any more space bears? Oh, um, here, and she dig digs through Yavana's pockets, <laughs> just hands out packets of space bears. And he's gonna try to like mush them up a little bit to revitalize Yavana. Yavana with the space bear snack. Yeah, um, give us give us the space bear stack of friendship. The space bear stack of friendship works, I think. I think I'm gonna fee out that. Um, Great. Amazing. As you were just saying, you come to to the whirring blades wow. of the Raptor drop ships coming in with peacekeepers and one ambulance marking one, and Arch looking at that, looking at his buddy, breaks cover, uh, guns holstered, and runs out as peacekeepers pour out and. Uh, EMTs pour out and they rush to uh, to assist Yazoo and I believe that is where we close as our friends have quite the adventure uh, before the beginning of the rest of their lives. Uh, I'm so sorry. I ran over by an hour. I, I'm, I'm no excuse for that, but um, here we are, dreamers. It's been a beautiful, it's been a beautiful night. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what to say other than thank you all for coming out. Um, we have we have the Discord, we have um, the community, we have Change Stars, and uh, if you don't know about it, Change Stars is the game we've been playing tonight, and it has a Kickstarter and everything that is already finished, and we're working on fulfilling for. Uh, you can find out more on the Kickstarter page. Um, I am uh, yeah, I was gonna say oh, Wait, what about uh, where we can find uh, find our guests? Where we can find our guests. That I'm gonna do that during feedback phase, unless do either of you all like really need to bounce. I've held you over an hour. I'm so sorry. If you're so I'm good. good. Okay, then I think we do feedback phase as normal. Um Matt, do you wanna go first? And then we'll do it left to right. Okay. Sure. Tell us your favorite part, maybe the favorite part we wanna see more of. And uh you know, skip anything you don't have a strong feeling on. 
Awesome. So um, my favorite part was, I mean, just the just the trio bonding. I love that so much, especially yeah. like uh, getting together, seeing the moment with like, I mean, we we're all on the same page as far as like both both um, Chun and Yavanna. Both of us knowing like, oh, yeah, of course, Cecily's going to have a have a plan, right? Uh, our, our itinerary for our uh, vacation trip. But then like Cecily wanting to improvise and then us just being yeah. flabbergasted. <laughs> that was so good. Um, and we'll create, we'll create it's just door. such a it's such a pleasure playing with y'all. And oh, my gosh, uh, Lee, holy crap your uh your acting with the that oh my gosh the uh, i forgot the names Vel ha and hans yes yes that was so crazy holy yeah, crap yeah <laughs> oh my god that, that one was out and i'm like i need six revolver shots all over the skeleton <laughs> oh i got chills that was crazy that was crazy yeah wow um yeah I, I don't have any any improvement stuff i i just had a blast um and i mean i i'm excited to hear uh like in the canon what happens to uh yavana cecily <laughs> and john <laughs> yeah, i mean y'all got some y'all got some hot information and some uh things that could really rewrite the history of this planet um yeah yeah and uh yeah. Also, Matt, where may the good people find improv and D and D and you in particular all around the net? Yeah. Um, my socials, improv and D and D on Twitter. Uh, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Twitch. Um, and, uh, I mean, I I do get to play with the incredible Tori on Level One Geek on Mondays, but I'll 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 leave that for her. For her to talk about it's just a pleasure to be able to play with her in another context too yeah it's just been such a blast thank you i know thank you can't yeah, hit me with that hit me with that real quick all right yeah so uh my favorite uh thing uh, about tonight was the story you had a very unique story to tell it was very fun uh what i like the most or what i want to see more of sorry what i like the least of um is uh Huh, not really um, thinking of anything. I think there were some minor pacing issues, but also like, you know, things things flowed uh, pretty smoothly. So it's it's hard. It's a very tuned thing that I popped out because I couldn't think of anything else. Um, and uh, what I want to see more of is uh, more stories like this, more interesting uh, takes on genre in the setting of Change Stars. And uh, as always, more chances to play with such amazing people. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And uh, we're blessed. We're blessed to have Tori with us in the house. I love one geek. Tori, please, your fair feedback. And then where the good people can find you and enjoy your wonderful characters across the interwebs. Uh, yes, I'm Tori. Uh, I, I'll do the plug first, I guess, since I'd started sure. introducing myself weirdly. But I'm at level <laughs> one geek. Uh, you can find us on Twitch uh, at LVL1Geek. Uh, we also stream tabletop RPG content, so if that's what you're into, which I'm guessing you are if you're watching this channel, then uh, you can come hang out with us over there as well. And like Matt said, he is on our Monday night show alongside me, uh, where we play some D&D. &D. We're playing Candlekeep Mysteries right now. Uh, and yeah, that's my channel. You can also find us on Twitter at level1 underscore geek um, and Facebook and Instagram too. So come hang out. Um, and let's see my favorite parts i mean you guys all mentioned all this good stuff already uh <laughs> um well not all the good stuff feel a lot free, of the good feel stuff feel free to like but... uh, you know reinforce anything because like you know repetition yeah yeah i thought that um i like weirdly i don't really quite know why but i really loved arch i thought he was just like the coolest character yeah. <laughs> of all time like he was just so cool i'm sad cecily never like directly talked to him because like he just was really cool. The one um, regret. Yeah. yeah. And 
I loved all of the crazy like solutions that you kind of allowed us to come up with and you just like let us roll with it and like dropping all of the people down an elevator shaft. That was so fucking metal. I told you when I told Pat that I didn't think she was gonna go for it, but she was like She's like doing it. Yeah. Uh yeah. yeah. So that was cool. I think uh I guess like my my feedback or whatever is like I I would have loved to kind of just like like once like the wolves and stuff came in like things mm. just like ramped up super fast and it was crazy sure. and really fun and like awesome and I, I think I would have like traded some time at the beginning to get like more time doing nonsense <laughs> nonsense action <laughs> stuff um but uh yeah I had a lot of fun and then yeah I already told you guys where you can find me so absolutely we now I'm gonna guess that Lamp did not is not streaming Chain Stars right now. So uh, I don't see Lamp live, and I know I follow Lamp. Yes. Our lovely, lovely Lamp post. Um, I guess I'm gonna go say hello to Six Sides of Gaming. Okay. Apparently, a Andriol Andriol is doing ice cream meringue. Gangsters, or is that not right now? Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Angel, Angel, are Angel, are you live? Is it, are you is, live? It, is it happening? Come over to Angel's channel, this is Ice Cream Mark Gangsters. That's, That's right, right now. now. That's right now. Oh, it's your account. Hold on. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Hey, Angel, yo, y'all streaming on the Angel account? Because I was like, well, I know that they're playing Chain Stars tonight, so I might as well change Stars. Oh change my start. god. Wait, wait. Chocna, wait, who's, who's, y'all, drop the link, drop the link, drop the link in this chat and I will raid. <laughs> I'm I'm going through all your accounts and all of the <laughs> lamp creative. I'm going through every lamp creative account to try and raid. We all wait with bated breath. There it is. Okay, there it wait is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. Wait. Okay. Ice cream mafia stars. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 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 Wait a minute. An auto host of what? Of a, uh, okay. No. No. Yeah. It said angel. It said you weren't live. Okay. I'm popping. I'm popping the raid. I'm. I Amazing. can't wait for ice cream mafia Mirai. <laughs> Um, this is... This is gonna be so this fun. This is a brilliant, a brilliant Change Stars idea that has developed, and I am so happy to endorse it. Angel, we are raiding. Woo! And, uh, yes, Dreamers, thank you all for coming out. We're gonna go visit the Lampe Creative Cruise, Angel, and everybody who's, uh, in, uh, in for a great ride. Till next time, Dreamers. Hell yeah.